Well, hello there. Merry Christmas, everybody. How's everyone doing out there? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. If uh, any of you caught the community post on my channel, I said I was starting early today. Uh, we're live at 6 p.m. Eastern in my neck of the woods. I got to get up super early. We got a long drive up to Ohio for uh, our Christmas vacation to see extended family. So yeah, we're starting early tonight and uh, then I'll be gone for about seven, I think like seven days, something like that. So yeah, thank you for tuning in, even though it's a little earlier than usual. Uh, what's up, Nectabar? Thank you so much for the 20 dollar super chat that's nicholas debar says good evening sir thank you so much nick appreciate you buddy and merry christmas to you merry christmas to everybody in the chat this will be the last time you see me until uh i think i'll be back like the first or second i forget when i'm coming back but i'll keep you guys uh posted in the community area but uh, hopefully everybody is having a wonderful day. What's up, John Wagoner? We got Duane Baker, Chase Liebel, Tyler Ackrament, uh, Marvin Martian, Bradley Simmons. What's up, Matthew Lawrence, Kellen Aloysius Bjorn. We got Fred Murphy, Donnie Denfield. Duane was first in the chat. What's up, Mr. Baker? Adam Groves, Troy French, Brandon Umstead, and Jeremy Brown. Hello, Master Deadpool. We also got uh, we got Spaceball One Gaming becoming a brand new level one Jack Whacker. Well, thank you very much, Spaceball One Gaming. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Spaceball. Uh, how's it going, Frost? I hope you have a safe time. I was working all day uh, loading. So I, I've never used a cargo container like you put on top of your vehicle on the roof. Not fun. Not fun at all. I got it, I got it all done, but, man, those things are a pain in the butt. So that'll be the first time using one of those. You got to make sure... That it's secure. You definitely got to make sure that thing's secure. You don't want that thing blowing off on the on the way to Ohio. <laughs> uh, hello. No, he will not, Eddie. What's up, Eddie? Uh, we'll miss you, buddy, but safe. Thank you, Stevenson. Uh, tomorrow in CO, Colorado, is going to be a high of 2, low of negative 10 in Colorado. Uh, that's about what it's going to be in Ohio. It's going to be nasty. But uh, I'm ready. I packed all my warm clothes, and I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, let's, uh, we're on our Ohio Richlands Let's Play series, and, uh, by the end of, by the end of the stream, we should be in, in December. I plan on fast-forwarding, uh, hopefully a couple months tonight. Uh, we are playing in seasons mode, and, uh, I got, I got my little, my little, uh, whatchamacallits, my snowmen, I got my Christmas trees with my light bulbs, I got presents, and, oh, it's just beautiful. Isn't it lovely? You got little horsey toys and harvesters and tractors. Oh my. What's that, a little baler? Nope, that's a manure spreader. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy the show. We're just going to chill out and uh, do some farming. We're going to leave off right where we were last time. What's up, Kevin Flores? How are you? And uh, let me see. Let's zoom out here. We still only own field two, field six, and then we own this grass field right there and if we zoom out and take a look at growth uh, both of these are you know they're in the process our grass is going to be ready probably next month and then soil composition it's all messed up uh, but <laughs> we need to fertilize we need to kill weeds and fertilize this and maybe even fertilize that and maybe even fertilize the grass i don't know we got all kinds of little things to do as far as the animals go uh, we might feed the chickens uh, cows are looking good but we could top them off just to make sure and horses they're fine too we don't really have to worry about anything uh, we do have some stuff coming up october november we'll be able to sell our eggs next month so we will be doing that tonight selling some eggs November, December, and then January, we'll finally be able to sell our wheat. That's when it will be in uh, max price, full demand. All right, so let's get to work. we got lots of work to do. Uh, be safe on your trip. Thank you, Donald. It is supposed to be a little nasty. So we're leaving bright and early. We were going to leave on Friday. That was the original plan. But then we heard about the storm. That's probably going to hit Friday. So we're going to leave tomorrow. And just drive, you know, try to get there 
around, you know, late tomorrow night or we'll see. It depends how early I can get my butt out of the bed. So that's why we're going live so early tonight so I can get up early and start driving. Uh, but this is our one field that we killed weeds on last week. It's in the growth stage three of eight. So it's about halfway there. We are going to fertilize that tonight. That's our canola field. And then right now, we're going to kill weeds on that big field we planted last week. It's about eh, a little under 10 acres of wheat. It's in stage two of seven. And we need to kill some weeds. And that's what we're going to do, eh? Hop in the old John Deere that has 6.4 real hours on it. Uh, we've had this since we started the series. And uh, it's a good old tractor. Still getting things done. So let's kill some weeds. Thank you, Donald. Uh, don't forget to wrap your pipes. What? Uh, hello, Justin Vanderford. What's going on there, sir? Uh, Weston West says, no, I, no, we won't. I'll be uh, hanging out with family. We've got lots of family to visit this year. Uh, what's up, uh, Justin? How are you? we got Scott Pentland also coming in with the Australian $20 super chat. That is Scott Pentland. Thank you so much, brother. It says, hey, Frosty, my first day of the holidays. And you're live early. Good start. I am live early. What time is it there? What time is it in Australia right now? All right, so we got loaded up with herbicide. We still got like uh, about 70% of our tank is still full. I'm hoping it'll be enough to kill all these weeds. See what happens. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Too early for... No, I had dinner. Uh, dinner, my wife, Miss Frosty, she made taco bowls. I think that's what it's called. Taco bowl. So it's got tortillas, salsa, rice, taco meat, lettuce, cheese, and whatever else you want to throw on there. But uh, we had a bunch. Oh, I didn't have a bunch. I had a bowl of it. I meant there was a bunch of stuff in it. So yeah, it was a nice taco bowl. Stinking cold here in South Carolina. I think it was about 40, maybe 40 degrees today. Pretty chilly. Uh, 9.40 a.m., 9.40 in the morning. Nice. That's not bad. And you got the day off. What's up, Buck Clark? How are you, brother? Hope you're doing well there, sir. 10 a.m. Thursday morning for Outlaw Railroad. Are you from Australia, too? Nice. How many Australians we got in the chat tonight? We already got two for sure. Well, welcome to the show, Out Ro Outlaw Railroad. Got Scott Pentland, he's from Australia, and uh, Mr. Beetle Betts, he's from Australia. He usually stops in almost every episode or every stream. So we got a, we got a handful of Australians in the chat. Right, mate? That's right. You call that a knife? <laughs> I don't think so, laddie. I know. Horrible impression. There you go. You can see the weeds getting killed immediately. That is some strong herbicide. Do not drink that. Do not consume that stuff. Look what it does to weeds, chat. It kills them instantly. So don't be mixing that into your drinks. All right. Beautiful. Just straight up beautiful. But there's our grass field we uh, knocked out last week. We made all those bales, which we're going to... I think I'm going to keep all those straw bales. At first, I was like, let's sell them. But no, man, uh, we got a lot of cows. And it looks like between straw bedding and mixing it in as a filler for TMR, the more the merrier. I might as well keep them. And then I don't have to bale every time I do a harvest. So I think I'll keep those and just... Not bail for the next couple wheat and barley harvest. What's up, Tony Gonian? How the heck are you, Tony? Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, Joe Wolf, hello. So we are sitting at the hospital waiting on our little bundle of joy to come. Woo! What's the uh, ETA on that, Buck? Is it, like, happening any moment? Or, well, like, what's, what's the status on that? That's awesome. A Christmas baby. Oh, my goodness. 
I always wondered what it would be like. How, are there any Christmas babies in the chat or anybody that's birthdays are like super close to Christmas Day? Is it not a good deal? I imagine you probably get the short end of the stick when it comes to, you know, you miss out on that extra birthday presents. And I just, I always wondered being a, a Christmas baby. Ooh, mama, daddy. Yeah, I think Poto, he's, he's already gone. I think he left earlier in the week. He's, he's out of town visiting family for the holidays. So, yep, he's gone already. What's up, Miss Fire Slam? We got John McKinley coming in with the 499. It says Aubrey says hello and she would like a honk a tootie. I, I reckon I could give her a honk a tootie. One second, eh? One second. I am wasting herbicide. Yeah, we're definitely probably going to have to buy some more. 24%. I don't know if that'll finish this field or not. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. But hopefully we can knock it out. Uh, here you go, Aubrey. And Merry Christmas, Aubrey. And the whole McKinley family. And that goes for everybody in the chat. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. And uh, be safe if you're traveling like I am. I got about 700 mile trip tomorrow. So uh, be careful out there if you got to drive long distances or even short distances. Blech. Distances can't talk. Just be careful out there, everybody. Be safe. Hello, Austin Wall. Hello, sir. All right, let's try to stop wasting. I had this thing on. I didn't turn it off at all yet. Shame on me. I'd probably have a lot more in there if I was paying attention. <laughs> there we go. Try to get the maximum usage out of the the width that we're covering here don't need to be overlapping there we go uh hopefully within a few hours he will be here i got a little boy on the way that's awesome buck congratulations well congratulations uh let, let, let us know let us know how it all goes justin just working like usual i'm doing good miss fireslam busy today so it was our kids last day of school but they had like, uh, you know, they got their Christmas concert. So was up early this morning, went to school, watched the kids do that, brought them home. Then we celebrated Christmas today because we're leaving tomorrow. So, you know, all, all the presents from mom and dad and Santa Claus, all that happened after they got home from school. <laughs> so it's been a hectic day on top of that, packing filling up the uh, cargo carrier on top of the car. Ugh. So yeah, I've been I've been going nonstop all day. But we're ready. I think we're ready to just wake up and roll out in the morning. Yep, I'm empty. I am about to run out right about now. Hang it, Bobby. Alright, so we're gonna have to go get a refill. Not a big deal. That folded up. Uh, it's going to be 18 degrees on Christmas Day where I am, says Nikki. Eh, I, I heard it's going to be zero or maybe negative uh, where I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to miss South Carolina. It'll be chilly here, but it ain't going to be ain't going to be that cold. What did you get for Christmas, Frosty? I got a arm uh, Under Armour hoodie. It's nice. It's like a two-tone like dark hunter green like camo hoodie it looks it's pretty awesome looking i got one of those and i think that's it i didn't ask for anything <laughs> kids kids made me a nice card and they brought me you know they got me some of the little stuff uh that they made at school for the holidays yeah, I didn't ask for much this year. I never asked for anything. But, uh, yeah, I got a nice hoodie from my wife. But it was from everyone, the kids and my wife. Uh, let's see. What's up, Rhett Akers? Thank you for the 650 there, laddie. This is Love You Buddy about to sail away and spoil. Safe travels for you and the family. 
I seen your pictures. Looks like you're having a good time. If anybody's in my Discord, uh, go to the pictures section and you'll see uh, Red Acres. He uh, posted some photos of his little Christmas getaway trip. Looks like he's having a blast. Good stuff, good stuff. Are you ready for your trip? As ready as I can be. Yep. All right, I think we got to fill up over here. We're going to lose a good chunk of money right now because herbicide's not cheap. All right, I think this is where I buy it. No? Oh, you know what? That might be liquid fertilizer. Dang it, Bobby! I've done my side up. And this is lime and solid fertilizer. Alrighty then. I think we bought a tote. I think we bought a tote of uh, herbicide a couple weeks ago, but I think I've already filled it all up and used it. So I'll probably have to buy another pallet. What's up, Channing Hensley? Jacob Nungstia. Hello. I'm in northwest North Dakota, and it's negative 21 and a wind chill of negative 51. Yuck. That sounds horrible. You will have rain turn to freezing rain. Yes, but I'll be there before that all happens, Thank thankfully. That's why we're leaving early. Yeah, I'm going to miss all that and not have to worry about that on the drive. Uh, thank you, Jeremy. Appreciate you, Mike. Appreciate you. All right, I got to check where my buy point is. I know I moved it somewhere. See where it is here. Hmm? Yeah, sure. Hmm? Uh, we'll just, just throw it right here today. All right, so we need one pallet of herbicide. 2,000 liters. Whew, $2,400. Dang. Ain't messing around, huh? That's a bit expensive if you ask me. But it's needed, so. Make sure I can drive over this. All tires and tracks. All right, we're good. Be back a little while. I gotta run some errands. All right, Kevin. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, what did you get? I answered that one. What's the occasion for the early start? I think I answered that for you, Austin. <clears throat> What's up, William Bone? Merry Christmas to you, buddy. What's Suzette Bartlett? Suzette's back in the house. She was here the last stream. Suzette, was the last stream your first time? Was that your first time ever watching? I feel like that was your first stream I've ever seen your name. First time viewer last last time. Welcome back. Glad to have you back. What's up, Mr. Fireslaying? Hello there, sir. And Merry Christmas to you. I think I was supposed to turn left there, but we can get there from this uh, driveway. We do have crop destruction on, so I can't just cut through fields. Well, I guess you can. If you don't own the field, it doesn't do any crop destruction. Kind of weird, huh? It only destructs your own fields that you own. But lucky for the other people, they don't have to worry about me destroying their fields. There it is. We almost had it finished. Didn't have enough uh, herbicide. All right, I do have, I've probably mentioned it, some of you may have not known, but I am going to have five, six, I think six videos in total that are going to be scheduled at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern for the days that I'm gone. That's not going to include tomorrow because I didn't know I was leaving that early. But Friday, yeah, you'll see. I think the only day I didn't schedule a video was Christmas Day. And then uh, you should have a video all the way up to the 29th. So yeah, I try. I tried to leave something for you guys to watch while I'm gone. Ah, 10-4, Suzette. What's up, Zach Waters? You can call me James, and it was my first. James, gotcha, gotcha, James. I will try to remember that. I'll probably still call you Suzette, so don't be mad. 
Aubrey said Merry Christmas to Frosty, and she's very excited she can watch live tonight. Yeah, it's early enough, see? The kids can tune in tonight. I'm, I'm not uh, on at my later time like usual. I mean, I love killing weeds. One of my favorite jobs. Something satisfying about it. Look at that. I love it. Seeing all those pesky weeds get killed instantly. Oh, it's great. Splendid. Can you guys hear the little uh, Christmas tunes in the background? We got the uh, Christmas channel on this evening. Right. So, Miss Frosty's... <clears throat> Pretty much her present this year was Buster, which I, I posted a picture of him in my community part of my channel. So if you haven't checked that out, go to my community tab on Big Rig Frosty Gaming here on YouTube and you will see Buster. It's one of our new family additions. He's a 10-year-old pug that we uh, pretty much rescued. He was going to go to a shelter. <clears throat> so, uh, of course, we, we took him in. We can't let no pug live in a shelter, so that was Miss Frosty's big uh, Christmas present this year. Thank you, Nikki Vanson, and Merry Christmas to you as well. All right, can we get this whole swipe in one go? Uh, going to be close. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll be good enough. Even if there's a few little weeds left, I'm not, you know. I think we're getting it, though. Yeah. Just enough. Perfect on both sides. Beautiful. Good, good, good. And we'll go uh, feed the chickens after this. Uh, what's going on, Frosty? Cooking dinner right now? How was the trip over the weekend? Good, good. That was another law. Uh, that I think I drove close to 700 miles round trip on that trip. I feel like I live in the uh, the car lately. And then my son's basketball game last night. Uh, I'm I saw, sorry again. I had to cancel last night's stream. Uh, it, we didn't get home till like 11 o'clock. I, I I had no idea that the place we were going was an hour and a half away. So yeah, so his game was first, and then you know it's it's you got to support the JV and seniors, so you stay and you watch them all. And yeah, we didn't we didn't get home till like eleven o'clock on a school night, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, not gonna be able to get a stream in, unfortunately. But I did get that sixth video made last night. It was gonna only be five videos, so I got you guys an extra video made for while I'm gone. Uh, bro will be farming in Ohio, only in Ohio, says the Honolulu Police Department official. That's right. Yep, this is my uh, Let's Play series. I've been doing it once a week. Uh, that's been the trend. I think, what is this, episode three? I think this is our third episode of Let's Play, which is you just kind of dive into the map on uh, new farmer mode with whatever equipment they give you, whatever land they give you, and then you just go from there. And uh, since that, we've purchased one extra field. We actually flipped a field. We sold one and bought a, a better one. And uh, we've got a couple harvests in. We've made bales, straw bales, grass bales. We have cows, a couple horses, and a chicken coop. Yeah, keeping busy on the farm. Glad it went great. Can't wait till I get to take my kids there. It's it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Definitely uh, good memories for uh, the kiddos. I got my Christmas decorations up, chat. Isn't that special? Oh, it's so nice. All right, so weed killing is done. I shouldn't have to do that again for the entire harvest of my two fields. But we do need to do fertilizing. And I think... The route I'm going to take for that, instead of unloading a whole thing of lime, I'd rather just buy 
a little fertilizer. I'm thinking about going the solid. For, but nobody ever goes the solid fertilizer route. I think I want to. I think I do want to do that. So I am going to do that. And I think we'll uh, fertilize with our tractor we bought last week. Where's that at? I think he's hiding in here. We got ourselves an international, an old tractor. There he is. Look at that bad boy. He's a good boy. 1586. All right. That detached. And we'll just get one of those little uh, hookup boxes behind. The ones that are like right behind you. I think that'll be a nice purchase. You only got like three fields anyway. I think that'll be splendid. Need to turn my volume in the game up just a little bit. I had to turn it down for the uh, video last night. Let me get a little more volume going. There we go. I like to hear the sound of the tractor. What's up, Adam Small? We are live. I only use solid. Never done that math, but feels like it covers... I know. It's got the bigger spread on it. So I think I'll uh, use it... F no? I don't think I've used it on 22 yet. <laughs> I have not used solid. I always use liquid. F uh, I either use liquid or I use manure or slurry because I love doing all the cow work. But I don't think I've used solid fertilizer yet. I'm doing a Let's Play series on Silver Run. Very nice. Yeah, that's my. this is my first ever Let's Play series. Um, I'm having a good time with it. And it seems like everybody else likes it. I did a, a poll. I, I said Leona or Ohio Richlands tonight, and like 70% wanted this over the 30% uh, for Leona, which I was a little surprised. I didn't know what you guys would say. All right, so we are going to purchase. I'm thinking just, you know, nothing crazy. I was thinking actually this right here. It's only 25,000 bucks. I don't think I have any modded ones. Yeah. So 25,000 bucks. It's got a 42 meter spread and it holds 3,200 liters of solid fertilizer. I think that's a good purchase right there. So I'm gonna buy it. And I should have looked in here if anything was on sale. We're good, nothing was. There was a nice tractor, but cool. So hopefully the uh, International doesn't have any issues pulling it. We do have front weights on it. So it shouldn't be too bad. Oh yeah. Pulling it empty, no problem. We'll see how it is when we add 3,500 liters of fertilizer. We'll see what it's like then. Hello, Mr. Detweiler. How are you, laddie? Uh, this is your second Let's Play on Ohio Richlands. It's my third episode. Third episode on it. What's up, Marvin? Yep, Marvin, you're right. Hit that like button, chat. And uh, thanks for tuning in. This will be my last live stream until... Probably until the new year. Not 100% sure if we're getting back, like, on the first or second. Uh, just keep an eye on that community tab, and I'll try to keep you guys informed uh, what what the heck I'm doing. All right, so I should be able to buy some solid here. Yep. 5000 one hundred and twenty dollars. Ouch. I should have just said fifty one hundred twenty dollars, not five thousand one hundred and twenty dollars. Sounds too serious. All right. Off we go. It's pulling it like nothing. Like it's not even there. Good stuff. I think this has like a hundred and seventy nine horsepower. It looks like it'll be just fine. Uh, the reason everyone chooses Ohio is because we're all from there. I know, there are a lot of people from Ohio. <clears throat> uh, what's up, Jessica? Says, Frosty Hubby Surgery went good. Swoll swollen a little, but it went good. So it was a success. I like to hear that. Good stuff. Yeah, baby. Well, uh, yeah. Tell them I'm, I'm super glad uh, everything went good. And 
one less thing on your mind for Christmas. You don't have to be stressed out about that. That's good, great news. Good to hear, good to hear. Johnny Miller. I think we gotta fertilize maybe all my fields. It ain't gonna take long though. Because the 42 meter spread is massive. All right, let's see how fast it goes through it though. So here we go. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Jeez. Look at the spread. My goodness. Holy smokes. Yeah, this won't take long at all. And you can do it at 11 miles an hour. We'll just put the cruise on and spray away. Very nice. What's up, Johnny Miller? How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good, buddy. 500k on the 20. Ooh, you get that money back up. You selling some crops? There were so much crops and storage on Griffin. Definitely need to uh, sell more of it. <laughs> Hello, Alex. How's the weather? Not bad. It's going to get a lot colder, even down where I'm at. It's supposed to get down, I think, like 20. That's stinking cold for South Carolina. That's That's too cold. But yeah, when we get to Ohio, it's going to be close to zero. Maybe negative temperatures. So because the field already was 50% fertilized, it's not really eating this up too bad. I think we'll be in good shape. Yeah, I never use solid fertilizer. It's kind of nice. Loving that long, that big spread on it, though. That's that's what makes it really nice. I'm not concerned if I miss some of the corners, as long as we get the majority of the field. Had the 24-7 server, uh, 511K. Nice. Single digits with the below zero and chill. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> Definitely got the warm clothes set up. Ready to go. And hope you packed your long under. I, I don't have it anymore. I got rid of it. When I left Ohio... I did away with my long undies. I used to have the long undies. I was uh, a firm believer in uh, thermal underwear. Living in Ohio, you kind of had to have them. All right, I think one lap up here and one back down, that should have the whole thing covered on this side. <clears throat> Hate to run frosty, but I got to eat some dinner. I will catch a replay. Have, thank you, Matthew. And like I said, I'll have videos for you guys to watch while I'm gone. So please, uh, if you're bored, give those a shot and uh, let me know if you like it. I will warn you. The first couple episodes of my... I, I did a survival series. The first couple episodes are... They're a little rough. But then I start getting the feel for it. I think I think it's like episode three is when I start changing the way I do it, and you'll see a big difference, especially with the audio. I don't make videos much, so it, it was a little rough at first. But once I started getting in the groove and doing it the way I was envisioning, and it started running a lot smoother, and hopefully you guys give it a shot, you know? If the first one you're like, Ugh, I don't know. Watch the second one, and then just watch them all. There's five. There's going to be five episodes to a survival series. So I, I'd love to get some feedback on what you guys think about it, if, if you watch them. All right, let's just take a look here, see if I even did good. I feel like I did all right, but let's see here. So we just tried to cover that field. That's pesky weeds. Uh, so, yeah, we just got to hit this little corner here. 
See, I thought I thought I killed the weeds. I did kill the weeds. So I don't know why it's still there. Oh, okay. See if I if I hide the weeds, you can see it a lot better. There we go. That's that's why. Cool. Because that looked kind of messy, huh? <laughs> but we are putting a full second coat on. I just had the weed filter messing it up there for you. We should be good after this turn here. Like I said, if we miss a few little... We got little patches here. Eh, not a big deal. Got 66% left over. Oof. Sixty-five percent to try to cover that other field over here. Yeah, we sh we'll see. We'll see what happens. What's up, Joe Boyer? Good evening, Logan Goddard. I thought you said. Well, I made six. Five of them are a survival series, and then another one is more of a review of a game. But yeah, there's six total. There's six total videos. But five of them are a survival series. And one is a review for a game that came out like three years ago or something. I forget when that game came out. But you'll see. You'll see. Hello, Donald. Welcome back. Logan Goddard. Hope you're doing well. Robert Plord. Hello. Uh, on my way to work, but we'll be popping in and out throughout the night. All right, Dustin. What hay are you raising? What hay am I raising? What hay are you raising? What are you talking about? What hay are you? I don't know what you mean. What's up, Frost? Can't stay long. Got to get ready for bed. How's it going? What's up, Mike? I'm doing good, Mike. Just uh, doing a little bit of farming before I head out of town tomorrow. Going up to Ohio, the old Buckeye State. This thing goes slow, huh? That's the working speed. What? Hey, are you ready? What? What? Are you? Oh, what am I growing? Uh, I think this is. Mm, canola was on the other field we just finished. And I think this one is barley. It's wheat or barley. I think it's wheat. And then we have our grass field over there. It's cold here, so oh, I, yeah, I'm all packed up. I might actually have to stop at like a Target or a Walmart on the way up there and grab some thermal underwear. <laughs> Just buy a whole thermal outfit, a bodysuit, because it's supposed to be horrible. Horribly cold. I'll be up in that like the Cleveland area, but I'll also be down where I where I'm from, visiting family. We'll be all over the place, northeast mostly. You too, RJ Holiday. Merry Christmas, brother. I'm glad you streamed because I'm stuck at the shipper currently. No estimated ETA. The joys of trucking. I remember that. Fun, fun, fun. Hurry up and wait. It's not a joke. It's real. You really do hurry up and usually have to wait. Do not miss that at all. Well, I hope they get you loaded up soon so you can get out of there. Get out on the road. Where are you stuck at right now? Look at the width on this. 42 meter work width. That is beautiful. Good stuff. Already told you no, Eddie. No. Nope. Uh, 32 in New York right now. That's not too bad. It said 40 in Ohio today on my uh, on my phone, but it ain't gonna stay that way. Middlefield. Ah, you live over there with the Amish. I'll never forget uh, truck driving. I used to deliver to a lot of WalMarts and uh, Middlefield. 
I'll never forget that Walmart has parking spots, car covered parking spots for Amish buggies. I am not kidding. I don't know if they still have them, but about 10, yeah, maybe more than 10 years ago, they had them. Parking spots for Amish buggies. Good stuff. All right, so we just did a whole lap around the field. Now I just got a... Uh, Maybe get maybe two, nah, one, probably three swipes to finish it up. So hard to tell what you hit. That's what's good about precision farming. Is you do get to see where you're at. They still do? I thought so. Good. Yeah, I'll never forget that. They'd be out there parking their horses, getting groceries. <laughs> Ah, uh, good stuff, good stuff. Merry Christmas, Ian W. We have them here, not too far from where I live in PA at Walmart. I mean, the Amish got to be able to park somewhere, you know? Can't forget about the Amish. It's pretty cool that Walmart, you know, will, will make parking spots for Amish buggies. That's their, their, uh... They notice that it's big in a certain community, so hey, let's, uh... Get some covered shelters for their horses. I like that's, that's awesome on Walmart's part. Saw a YouTube video on it a few months ago. Completely full on Friday and Saturday. Yeah, Sundays. They're not going shopping on a Sunday. I know that for a fact. Nope. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We know what we're doing. I, I was going to put precision farming on, and I was like, eh. Eh. Yeah. There's things I like and dislike about precision farming. It's going to get real cool here next couple days in New York. I think it's going to get be cold, like, everywhere. Not even kidding. Like, even down here, it's going to be cold everywhere. It's that time of the year, you know? That should be good. And we should have about one more swipe right around here. And we got 21% left. That should be enough to get it in. Let me just double check here. Eh. Maybe I was a little crooked, but <laughs> we'll come back and fix it, right? Yeah, we'll be all right. What's up, Norm Townsend? We have a bunch of Amish in a little town in northwest Missouri. Ah, uh, yes, Paul. Not, not close. Well, yeah. Yeah, there's logging everywhere in South Carolina. It's actually very uh, common to see a logging truck going by. I missed a darn strip. Alright, that should get it. We are fixing to about 17 inches of snow. <sighs> Precision is just broken for multiplayer, but the visual it is yeah, it's nice to visually see. Long beach towards the night time in the morning. All right, finally got all the fertilizing done on my two fields. I got 12% left. I'm just going to use up the rest of it on my grass field. It's not going to cover it all, but at least I can put it to use. So we're just going to cover some of this grass and use it up. That'll give us a better yield when we go to cut it again. Uh, I will take your 20 there for our negative four, says Scott. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't miss living up north. Not one bit. Mm, no, you talking about the lumberjack? I think it's called lumberjack simulator or something like that. I have not tried that one. It doesn't look that good. 
I watched other people play it and the reviews, it just didn't look very, I don't know, it didn't look very fun. Have you played it? Is it, what do you think? Dang, this fertilizer's going a long way. Almost got the whole field covered. Good stuff, Mike. So this is the field we bought last week. And we made, I forget how many bales we made. We made a uh, wrapped bales and hay bales on just one field and filled up a trailer. <clears throat> I think it was 20 something bales. Very nice. I did not think that would cover that much ground. All right, we just ran out, but look how much we were able to get on the grass field. Almost finished it. Beautiful. All right, we are done with this tractor. Just gonna go park it in the shed. There you go. Hopefully I can close the, yep, close the door. Yeah, right. We're just gonna hop in the uh, TLX. I do wanna get the chickens fed. So we'll run across the street, switch trucks, get the chickens topped off, and then we'll go deliver these bales. Yeah, we got 130,000 liters of straw. Ridiculous. It's a massive amount. Yes. Just want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in the Big Rick Foster community. A Merry Christmas and Happy New Year as well, says Norm Townsend. Right back at you, brother. Hope you have a splendid one and safe travels if you're headed anywhere. Uh, Andrew Durian, or Duran, I'll just say Dor. I don't know how to say your last name, but Andrew, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Sorry if I butchered your last name. Sometimes I have troubles pronouncing last names. All right, so we're gonna just leave our truck here and get the big rig. We got Miss Frosty riding shotgun. And we got a load of uh, wheat. I already put a little wheat in there to top off the chickens. And off we go. Miss Frosty, are you excited for that 700 mile drive tomorrow? It's gonna be so much fun! <clears throat> All right, we're literally going right across the street. <laughs> we'll back in and dump the wheat that's in there. I think anybody's coming. What's up, Michael? How are you? Uh, let me see. Did I get the renew? It didn't come through. But uh, I do see a badge next to your name. You, uh, tier, what tier are you this time, buddy? And, uh, hello to you. There's our other Australian guy I was telling you guys about. He's also from Australia. Right, we're gonna have to get the front hopper over the dump symbol. Stevie, I need to tell you, ask you about something after my stream, if I remember. I will probably forget, <laughs> but there was something I was gonna ask you about. Ugh. Sorry about the camera angles, chat. Got trees in the way. Come on, baby. It's a little bit close, baby. All right. Tip side front. I feel like that should be good enough. I'm like right on it. What the heck, bro? Tip side back. I know they eat wheat. It's the problem here. What is the problem? I'm gonna have to get like a little trailer for the tractor to pull because this is just not working too good with the big truck. Yeah, what, 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 what's up with that, man? I'm right on there. 
tip side, tip side front. I mean, I'm, I'm right on it. Oh my goodness. Come on, daddy. I need to get the dump in there. It's <laughs> not working. All right, so. I'll try to pull into it and see if it helps. I don't know. I know they need fed. Uh, all good, it's French, last name, and pretty much how says it English. All right, I'll call you Andrew. Uh, what's up, Adam? Uh, hi, that's all right, Ryan, I'm early. So you're late and I'm early. So you're not late, because I'm early. Did you used to stream on Facebook? I used to, I did. You dang near have to be against the fence. I, I think you're right. You got to be almost on it. Jason Van Ocken, hello. Uh, we got Matt Cornish coming in with the Jack Whacker Level 1. Thank you very much there, Papa. That's Matt Cornish. Come on down. To the big rig, Krauss to Higgit. Uh, uh, Jibbity dibbity. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. I mean, I'm pretty much on the fence, almost. This is ridiculous. Yeah, we got, we got to get us a little trailer. I'm like in the ditch. All right, that ain't gonna work. Son of a biscuit head. Hang it, Bobby. Bobby Sue. So we'll just uh, throw this back in the silo. And the chickens are, they're, they're okay. I don't think they're gonna die. I just was hoping I could top them off. I think they're getting a little, they're like halfway down on their food. Yeah, see? So th they'll be fine. They're not gonna run out of food for another month or two. But I'm gonna have to invest in just a little bitty trailer that I can back up in there really, or even like a Kubota, like a little side-by-side. -side. Just something that's easy to get in there. There we go. We know it works because it's letting me dump into the silo. There we go. Don't worry, Miss Frosty. The chickens will not die. They will be fine. We will figure it out. Maybe you feed it full. No, nope. They still need fed. I do remember it being a pain in the butt to, uh, hit the uh, trigger point for the chickens, so it's all good. Ain't nothing to worry about. 18 days, you're level 3. Well, thank you so much there, Michael. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you very much. Uh, a couple people saying I'm on early. That's because I'm leaving super early in the morning, so I'm getting to bed early tonight. So that's the reason for the early stream. All right, lights off. And that'll that'll be good. All right, let's go deliver our bales. I love this little truck. Thing's a beast. We were rolling fields. We were rolling fields with this truck last week. It worked great. Smooth. It got the job done, no problem. It was very nice. It's a it's a good working truck. It does more than just drive around. It hauls bales. It rolls fields. I mean, what more could you ask for? It's so nice. So we'll go deliver these to the cows. What's up, Night Owl? Hope you're doing all right. Yeah, we got 130,000 liters. Crazy. Miss Frosty wanted to go all out with the Christmas decorations back there. I was like, all right, get her done. Three big trees, three snowmen. <sighs> wonder how long it's going to take to buy us, buy us another field. When 
I barely have any eggs to sell. Next month, when we fast forward time, th those will be in high, high demand, but I don't have any to sell. <clears throat> so, in Australia, is Christmas the same, like the same day? Do you celebrate it the same day? I mean, of course, it's a day ahead as the time's different in Australia, but is it like the same day there? I don't know. You know, some countries celebrate certain holidays at different times, but I imagine it would be about the same, right? Man, we're going to have a surplus of straw. Ooh, daddy. All right, which way does this unload left? <laughs> I think we'll be uh, good on straw. Quite some time. All right, we're going to unload here. Woo! What do you think, chat? Think that's enough straw? Since we're sitting here, we're just going to top off the uh, straw bedding real quick. And TMR if the cows need any. <clears throat> they haven't started producing milk yet, but their health is at 100%. These are young cows. They're not very old. Uh, this one's only two months. They're, they're like two months old. So the milk won't be here immediately, but eventually. This is one of three tractors that we own. We have the John Deere, the uh, Case, and then this little Massey, Massey Ferguson. Give them a little more grub. Oh. And I'm out, but I think they're pretty much full. So no sense in uh, making another mix. Just leave it for next time. Drop that right there. Hook up to our straw spreader. Christmas is this Sunday for me, which will be your Saturday. So one one day ahead. Okay, so it's the same. Nice. Because doesn't uh, Canada, is it Canada that does the Thanksgiving, like, at a complete different month, and, like, it's all different from the U.S., right? Is that what I'm thinking? I think it's Thanksgiving. Oop, went the wrong way. What's up, Skyler? How are you? Welcome to the show. Love seeing some new names in the chat. Feel free. If, if it's your first time here, please don't be afraid to say hello. Uh, we don't bite. We just like to do farming. I do, anyway. <laughs> I had I had Do Ann Baker today comment on uh, my post. Like Frosty, introduce some American Truck Simulator. Like, Do Ann, you just don't, you don't know me, I guess. I thought he knew me. But he's requesting ATS. I mean, come on, Duan. I thought you knew me. <laughs> uh, yep, you're exactly right, says Logan. I thought so. Uh, what's up, Michael Vogt? How are ya? All right, so cows are good. Nothing to worry about there. We're going to shut this bad puppy down. And we are fully stocked on straw for... Months and months and months. Like I said, I don't need to make any more bales. So next time, next time we harvest wheat or barley, we're just gonna leave the uh, swath off because we also got a whole nother trailer load sitting back at the other uh, location. So we don't need any more. <clears throat> Canada does Thanksgiving in October. How will you make it eight days without farming? I, I don't know. I'm going to have to watch a lot of farming. Um, I'll be watching a bunch of Dagger Win and uh, Sim Farmer, Farm Sim Guy. Those will be the those will be the guys that keep me going while I'm gone to get my farming fill. Uh, hello, what's up, Joshua Hoffman? Sarah Moore, same answer as last time. 
no. Uh, Jake Priest, stay safe travels in the AM, and welcome home to the Buckeye State. Yeah. I'll be welcomed with freezing, open, frostbitten arms. Uh, Amber Walker showing off that two months of Jack, or 16 months of Jack Black. Can't talk tonight. Let's try that. Let's start over. Amber Walker, thank you for the 16 months at Jack Wacker level two. That is Amber Walker. 16 months. It is quite lovely. Uh, and also, thank you for the $1.49 snow cone. I probably won't need any snow cones while I'm up there in the cold, but I'll eat one. If there's one there, I'll take it. Uh, thank you, Amber. Merry Christmas to you. What are you laughing at, Amber, huh? Gumby could stream. That's what Stevie was... We're trying to get a... We're trying to get Gumby to stream while I'm gone. What, what would be even better is Gumby and Stevenson streaming while I'm gone. But both of them are... They're like, no, no, no. I don't want to. Like, come on, man. I'd even let them use my channel. I'd be like, just log in and go to town. Go do some farming on Leona or Hannah or Silver Run. I mean, they got all the stuff. They could just go live and act like Frosty. Just be a jackwhacker all night. <laughs> like I said, I, I hope you guys give those videos I made a chance. The, the survival series. I spent lots of hours making those. And like I said, the first couple are a little rough. But then I start getting pretty comfortable, start getting the getting the hang of what I was supposed to do. And you'll notice a big change from episode one. By the time you get the, the finished on episode five, you'll be like, dang, he he knows what he's doing now. It's a lot better than uh, the first couple episodes because the first two are a little rough. And I apologize. I was just trying to learn how to do it. All right, there's no rush to uh, get these delivered, so I'm going to park these up next to the house up here, and we're going to fast-forward time. There's nothing else to do at the moment. Animals are fed. Crops are 100% fertilized. Weeds are killed. So we are going to fast-forward to November. And I think we're set to one day, I think. It, maybe it's two days, but I think it's one. All right, so we'll just park this bad boy right here. And when we hit nighttime, we'll take a look at the Christmas lights. Let's just double check before I go ahead. Uh, chickens will be fine. Cows, beautiful. Horses, good enough. Uh, months... Oh, I think I am set on two days. So this is going to fast forward to the first part of November. Which we won't be able to plant anything. But we will have eggs in demand. But yep, let's do it. Let's fast forward time a little bit. I'll wait till it's dark so we can see our Christmas lights. Oh, look at that. Look at our Christmas lights, chat. And there's my snowman. Those look pretty good, huh? Not bad. Not lovely. Uh, what is his stream name, says Jeff. I was joking. He don't have a stream name. He doesn't stream. Uh, we, we, we just always joke to try to get him to do it, but he, he I don't think he ever will. Hey, Frosty, just wanted to drop in and say hi and hit the like. Can't stay long at a family event. Bye, my nation. Have a wonderful Christmas, all right? Uh, do I need to start back streaming for you? I can act like the biggest... No. Nope, that was a joke. Uh, I would watch a 13-hour fry... Uh, what? A 13-hour something similar. So, so. Oh, Angry J Gaming, how are you, sir? How the heck are you, brother? Merry Christmas to you. I say that because I'm going to be out of town for actual Christmas, so I might as well tell you right now. Merry Christmas. That is Angry J in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going to... I fast-forwarded to November 1st. 
and it's about noon time. And my money is just whew, dwindling away. <laughs> Let's check out what we can do. Again, there's nothing much we're going to be able to do except maybe sell our eggs. Uh, max price is 42, but the price is starting to drop. But it is at its max price right now. So we are going to sell whatever eggs we can get. Let's do that right now. Let's see if I can just throw them in the back of my truck. And we'll also uh, take a peek at the field status, but I think all our fields should be good. This chat is something tonight. It, it's always something crazy, isn't it? Merry Christmas right back at you, brother. Hope life's treating you well. And uh, I, I'm sure you're cold. You're up there in Iowa, right? I think you're in Iowa. Whew. Gotta be freezing. I've driven through Iowa in a big truck. Man, in the wintertime, that is not fun. What's up with this? That's all they're gonna give me is, that's all these darn chickens have produced. I got 30 chickens in here, and all they're going to give me is 325 liters of eggs. Get the heck out of here. This Frosty will not be impressed with this delivery. <laughs> like, how'd the chickens do? I'm not good. Couldn't even fill up a pallet. All right, let's find out where those are selling. Uh, best place to take those is the farm shop. All right, we're going to tag the farm shop. That's down yonder out there somewhere. Let's see how much money we get for my little quarter of a pallet of eggs. <laughs> Hope your trip is good and safe, Frosty, and your family. Have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you, Jeff. Right back at you, sir. You got 1,500 chicken barn? Yes. Yeah, we only got 30. Love seven, <laughs> seven degrees with blizzard warning tonight. There's, yep. Ooh, look at the weeds in that guy's field. Ouch. That looks like something grew like a crop, but that's not a crop. That's not good. Yeah, we'll probably end up fast forwarding to the second day of November. Because the, I, I don't think probably fast forward to December. There's nothing to do in November but sell eggs. That's about it. We get to sell them right here at the farmer's market. It's right behind where our cows live. There it is. You think we're good on bales? I think we got a, a good surplus of bales. I gotta double check. Am I dumping here or do I need to go back here? Guess we gotta go back here. I don't wanna go the wrong one and lose money. This is very good money. We gotta make sure we make the right choice. What's up, Christopher Pratt? How are you, Christopher? Uh, what do you drive in real life? We have a uh, Kia Soul, an older Kia Soul, and then we have a uh, Toyota Highlander. So that's what we'll be driving up is the Highlander. All right, let's see how much money we get here. Take the straps off. Maybe we do have to go to the front. Or maybe I have to uh, pick it up. Okay. I guess we do got to go to the front. So uh, let's head back to the front. How do you smell a hillbilly? I too am a smell a hillbilly. Better watch it, Bambuski. How's it going there, sir? 
Merry Christmas to you. There you go. Alright, I'm hoping this is the cell point. Yep, there it is. Not bad. $2,200. $2,211 for not not many eggs. That was like a half a pallet. Not even a full pallet. Hey, money is money. We'll take it. We will take it. All right, let's stop and uh, check the old animals out. And let's check my field status. All righty, growth. Grass is ready, but we're not, we don't need to do anything with that right now. Uh, I mean, we could. Still got those crops growing. And the weeds are killed. So yeah, let's go, let's check my animals. Horses are still fine. Cows are still fine. Yeah, they don't need nothing. Chickens are still fine. Yeah, let's fast forward to the next day. Happy holidays, double trucker. Right back at you there, sir. Ooh, that property maintenance is a killer. $1,727. All right, it's about 10.30 in the morning on a beautiful, cloudy November day. So it's the back end of November. And still the animals are fine. Yeah. What do you think? Should we make wrapped bales? I mean, it's it's a very good, profitable business. We'll get a good chunk of money, and we need the money if we want to keep, keep expanding. So what do you think? What do you think, chat? Should we go make some wrapped bales? Put, it, put yes or no in the chat. I definitely think we should, because it pays good money. And I've already got plenty stocked up over here for my cows, so we could sell like a full trailer load of it. Got a new heater for the shed that I live in. Ooh, baby. Stay nice and warm. Nothing wrong with that. He got a new heater for his barn. Yeah, that, that makes working in there, and especially if you're living in there. Uh, yeah, some heat would be great. I thought you can't sell bales on this map. Well, you know what? I might have a solution for that. I might have a solution. I know what we can do. Let me check something real quick. Let me check something. Uh, are there any productions that take bales? Oh, a biomass heating plant. Doesn't look like the biomass takes does it take wrapped bales? Or those those might be bio bales. I'd have to get the uh, sell everything mod. I could get the sell everything mod. I think that's my only choice. Yeah, I don't think the, uh, the biomass heating plant will take wrapped bales. Does anybody know? Uh, Matthew Lawrence, thank you very much. So we got Matthew Lawrence coming in with the $10 super chat. 
wishes happy holidays and safe travels right back at you, sir. And thank you very much for the $10 super chat. Silage bales and sell them at the bio. Does that mean you can? <laughs> Stavy. Ah, oh, $40,000. Come on, bro. Uh, $40,000. Hmm. I'd have to take out a, a little bitty, a little bitty loan. Gosh, you know, that's, it'd be better to get the sell point, the, 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 uh, sell everything mod. You could try. Should I get the sell, sell everything mod? I could just plop it down on my property. It doesn't take up a bunch of space. It would, it would only take a minute. I, just, I would just have to go in and activate it. I, I'd save the game, back out, activate it, come back in, and then place it on my land that I own over here. And then we could uh, easily sell it. I think to place it is like a thousand bucks, maybe two thousand bucks. But forty grand, I don't need like a whole biogas plant. Sell at the bio, says Joe. So take out a loan and get the bio. Make sure there isn't a sell point. Doesn't silage go to the biogas? I don't. No, I, I already tried that. Let me check. See, right here. I already have silage. Look, this this map does not have an animal dealer. Uh, it, yeah, or it doesn't have a biogas plant. So see, cell point, no cell point. So I need to either put down or go activate that sell everything. Do the mod, yes. I got some land you can own. Go for it, we can wait, do it. You sell, okay. All right. Yeah, someone said the author is gonna add it eventually in the next update. I ain't got no time to wait for that. I need to sell some bales, baby. All right, so let's save the game. And this will not take long at all. We're gonna go back to the main menu, activate it. I'm just gonna go back into career. And it's down here somewhere. I think it's towards the end. Right there, sell everything mod. That's it, hit start. Look, that took like what, not even a minute? Good stuff. Thank you again, Mr. Lawrence. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, listen, she's the mama of the community. She says get the sell anywhere mod, then we will. You're absolutely correct. If she says do it, we will do it. Look, we're already loaded back in. Beautiful. Just need to switch back over to the truck. And I want to plop it right down here because this is where my field is. It'd be very convenient to make my bales and just sell them right here, right here. So production selling point, there it is. And this is even smaller. There's one with the containers, takes up more space. We could just get this one, does the same exact thing uh, for a, th a thousand bucks. And it's nice to have something like this when a map doesn't provide something that normally has so let's just like plop it put it somewhere where it I don't know yeah like right here good enough I'll get the job done. Uh-oh. Doesn't 
doesn't seem like it wants me to be painting around it much. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. Solution fixed. So now we can just plop right over here and bada bing, bada boom. All right, so since we got that taken care of, we are. Actually, we're not. That's not fully grown. I'm not cutting that. That's not ready. We can let that grow another stage. It's in the forage stage, but it could still grow uh, better than that. So we are not going to cut it yet. We are going to wait, which means we are going to fast forward to the next month. Just make sure nothing else is uh, ready to sell here. Uh, November, November. What are we in November? So we'll be going into December. Nothing will be ready to sell. All right. Yep. And I should buy little baby trailer, huh? Buy little baby trailer to uh, feed our chickens. We got to get that taken care of. Just something little and cheap. Something little and cheap. Forty-five hundred bucks. Uh, Forty-five hundred bucks for a tippet trailer. That's for the TLX twenty twenty. That would be good. And that's cheap. We don't need to do anything fancy to it. That's good enough the way it is. Perfect. $4,500. That'll pay itself back super quick. Let's feed the chickens real quick, and then we'll fast forward to December. See? We're moving along here. Thirty-two grand in the bank. We're surviving. Uh, let me see. Hello, Vambuski. Merry Christmas. Oh, David, you're such a sweet little soul. All right, we're going to pull right up in her. Grab my new trailer. I need to move my cell point, or my, my uh, spawn point. I got it right next to that utility pole. Not the best place. Yeah. Look at that. That is beautiful. Exactly what the doctor was thinking about ordering. Tell you what, that looks pretty good right now. That looks pretty good. I can get plenty of weed in there. I can store it over with the uh, big rig over by the silos. I think that was a pretty smart purchase, huh? Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas, Donald. Right back at you. Baby. You know what? Last night, my son did not like it. So last night was my son's first... Uh, basketball game for school and it was an away game and they did all the announcements you know away game so they uh they're like the starting lineup for my my son's school and here's the starters and the music they played i'm not even kidding was baby shark they played the baby shark song for our team's starting lineup little little jack whackers they thought it was funny too my son didn't think it was funny. He's like, that was rude. I was like, well, welcome to reality. When you go to an away game, you're not going to be uh, always treated like royalty. <laughs> so he didn't care for that. Baby shark. Oh, this is perfect. 6,000 liters. Should be able to just back this in nice and pretty and not have any more issues feeding the chickens. It's a little wobbly. There we go. See? Look how close you got to be. Like it is. It's on the fence. Just like Scott said. And there you go. Filled. Just double check and make sure it's filled. Yep, topped off. They only take 750 liters. Um, 
28. I think I got the max amount of chickens in there. Yep, there we go. Easy peasy, baby. Get that trailer back in storage out of the weather. It's been a while, but we're back. What's up, Steve Bishop? Good evening, Isaiah Lewis. Look at that. First comment. I caught it, Isaiah. Aren't you proud of me? Got you on the first comment. Alright, I might back the truck up just a little bit. up Jordan and Mr. Landon splashed a little water on my uh, glasses when I took my last swig get sloppy sloppy jalopy all right let's back her on in here Ooh, she, she, she. the slightest movement that thing just jackknifes go nice and slow I gotta get up so early in the morning I, I'm not good at getting up early like, I'm talking, it's still going to be dark out. Ugh. Ugh. It's be so, going to be so cold tomorrow. Nothing else to do, chap. Nothing else to do. Except, uh, fast forward time. Joppy slow. Anytime someone says baby anything, uh, that song pops in, that stupid song pops into my head. I, it's, it's, yeah, it's one of those songs that I'd be fine never hearing again. <laughs> it's rough. Well, do not lock it. All right, we get to see Christmas lights again. We're going to move into December. Grab on and hold on tight. We're going into the future. Love the Christmas trees. That's right on the Mod Hub if anybody wants a... <gasps> snowing! Oh, keep snowing. Don't stop snowing. Come on. Want more snow. It snowed a little bit, but no, uh, no accumulation, unfortunately. But I doubt we'll be able to do anything with our fields in the month of, uh, December. Zilch. December and January, we're not going to be able to do anything. So it's pretty much going to be... Just checking if we can sell anything. January, we're going to be able to sell wheat. And... Um... The eggs are still at a pretty good price. So we'll probably get rid of that. Straw is at the max in January. So yeah, we'll probably just skip to uh, the next day of December. I want to see some snow chat, some accumulation. Let's go here. Why is the snow not sticking on the ground, man? No snow, it's just dead. Deadness. What's up, Ice Dragon? Go mow. I can't. The, the grass doesn't grow. It doesn't grow in those two months. Up here in Ohio, we've ordered the snow just for your arrival. I, I heard. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, there it comes, uh, Michael Beetle Betts. It just came through. Member for four months at Crazy Jack Whacker Level 4. Uh, says, did you hear about what game Raya played the other day? Frosty put a smile. I, I, I seen. Satisfactory. 
I figured that would put a smile on your face there, Beetle Bats. <laughs> uh, are you going to Ohio tomorrow, Brian? I leave tomorrow. Yep, there's the uh, grass. It's still not ready to cut. Yep, we're, we're going to get a 98% uh, yield bonus on it. Beautiful. Let's sell those eggs real quick before the price drops. And then we'll fast forward to uh, January, and then we'll be able to sell our wheat. That's when our wheat's finally going to go in demand. Not going to get much for the eggs, but better than nothing. Do you need to double check our animals real fast. Now that we've gone through a couple months, uh, cows, they're still okay. That They'll be fine. Yeah, animals are good. We had them topped off, so they're going to they're gonna be good for quite a while. You know what? We're going to save some time and just sell them right here. We should take them to the farmer's market, but we'll just sell them right here. And there we go. We just made $1,145 on our eggs. And that's how the sell everything works. It's, it's beautiful. So if you come across a map like this that doesn't have all the sell points that you would normally have... Go get that right off the mod hub. It's called Sell Everything. Only cost a thousand bucks. Slap her down. And uh, in our situation, we want it to sell bales. I can't sell bales on this map. So that's we'll use that until they update the map. You know what I'm saying, Mike? Uh, thank you, Michael, for the Australian $2 super chats. As it sure did put a big smile on my face. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're crazy. All right. Let's uh, skip to the next month. It's skippity skip months here on uh, Big Rig Frosty tonight. We're playing seasons. This is how seasons go. Once you get to the winter months, you can't, you can't harvest, you can't plant. You can't do anything. Uh, you just kind of survive. And uh, we got the money to survive, so that's good. Uh, but January's the hot time. We are going to make... Uh, well... Can we make grass? Nah, see? The grass isn't going to grow. We'll see. Maybe it'll be ready. I, I doubt it. But at least we'll be able to sell our wheat. So let's skip on to January. January, here we come. <clears throat> Sometimes the snow will stick in January, so maybe we'll get some uh, accumulation. That doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. My tree died, though. A couple of our... We have zero leaves now. Why is the snow not falling? Is that... Are those reindeer turds? What the heck is that? That looks like reindeer turds. Santa was here. Uh, member for seven months. Says, Frampton, I missed you guys the past couple streams. Love my blizzard hill, Bellis. Blink of our munch. We missed you too, Jack Whacker. Oh, dang. I didn't put those snowmen there. So these just show up on the map. I didn't put those there. Yep. That's cool. These I did put, but I didn't put those. So there's some built-in uh, Christmas decorations on Ohio Richlands. Let's go check that darn grass field. If it grew, we're definitely going to make some wrapped bales. If not, maybe we will anyway. We could cut that grass the way it is. It's not at its full length, but at least we could make a good profit. Silage is at its high 
think this is the best month to sell it. So, yep, it's still not fully grown, but what do you think, chat? We should do it anyway, huh? We could probably still get a good amount of bales out of there. Yeah, that's that's not fully grown, but like I said, we need we need the money. We need to take advantage of what's the hot price right now and silage. January is the hot time. We're in January. We're going to sell our wheat, which is $9 above the usual max price. So we're going to get a nice killing out of that. Yeah, let's go do that first. Let's go sell. Let's go sell our uh, wheat that we have in storage. And I've already got a crap load of wheat in here for the chickens to get by for plenty. That'll that'll last for a while. We're going to sell that wheat. We got about 50,000 liters or something, Miss Frousey. What was it? I forget. What's up, mouse? Uh, let's see. Need some snow so you can do some plowing. I don't have a plow, though. What's up, Cornell777? Kyle Foster in the house as well says, how do I subscribe? Like Jack Whacker level one. Uh, yes. If you're on your, if you're on iPhones, it works a little different. I have the link for it. If you're on like an iPhone, you have to go to my description and click the link to uh, join. But if you're on PC, it should just be, uh, there you go. Josh, Mr. Stearman just put it in there for you. There you go, buddy. All right, how much of this? See, we got 41,000 liters we can sell. Loading it all up, baby. We're going to take the whole darn load and get some money. Looks like we'll be loading up the back as well. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a nice chunk of money. We need it, too. We, 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 we're starting to get down... We're down to 25,000. Beautiful. 40,400 liters of fresh wheat from our first harvest on this map. Uh, we finally get to sell it when it's in demand. So we're going to take a quick look at where the best place to sell it is. Uh, wheat. Let's see. I don't want to go to the sell everything. Uh, let's see. Wheat. We'll go to Ohio Agri-Coop. Gonna tag that. Let's see, where's that at? Way down yonder. All right, cool. So off we go with our first massive load of wheat. This will be our biggest profit on something we've sold on the map so far as far as uh, crops go. Well, you can feel the weight. She's heavy. All right, baby. Uh, Kyle Walters, thank you for the $5 super chat. Says, how's it going? Just getting ready for the blizzard that's going to hit us the next two to three days. I'm heading that way too, Kyle. I, I got uh, some nasty weather in the future forecast. So we're leaving early tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much, Kyle, and Merry Christmas to you, brother. Can you put a plow on your truck? I don't know about that one. I don't know. I don't know if you can do that or not. Has Miss Frosty been waiting in the cab of the truck for the last two months? No, she follows me everywhere. When we're in the pickup truck, she's there. When we're in the big truck, she's there. If the tractor has a second seat, she's there. She's everywhere. She's always keeping an eye on me. We got Kyle Foster, ladies and gentlemen. He said he had a present when uh, I wasn't able to go live last night. He's like, I had a present for you too, Frosty. I was like, I'll be back tomorrow. Well, there's that present. That must be my Christmas present from Kyle Foster coming in hot with the $100 super chat. You crazy animal. Thank you very much, Kyle. You didn't have to do that, brother. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you so much for the support to the channel. Uh, thank you very much, brother. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very, very awesome. 
That's 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 big daddy support right there. Thank you so much, man. She looks like the mullet queen. You better not talk about my mama like that. That's right. I call my mama. My my. How do I get in here? I don't think that's the way in. I took a driveway a little too early. Yeah, thank you very much, Kyle. That means a lot, brother. I can't believe you just called Miss Frosty the mullet queen. You don't look like no mullet queen. I mean, maybe a little bit. But she's helping me farm, all right? She has to put the hair back a little bit. You don't want to get your hair dirty. You got to brush it back over the years. It's not a mullet. Oh, crap. First time delivering here. Oh, do not enter. All right. Looks like we got to swing around. It's a cool looking uh, facility. Like it. Oh, baby. I think we're about to bring in about $50,000. Yeah. Nice little boost of economy. Pull her up by one now. Oh, yeah. Look at that money go up, chat. So the front end of the trailer. Looks like we're going to get... $24,786. We should get the same on the back. So it's just going to be a little shy of $50,000. Just beautiful. Good stuff. Very nice. And another $24,785. So that is a total. Let's go to our finances. Uh, there it is. We just made a harvest income of $49,572. Uh, that's good. That's good stuff. We still have a $525,000 loan that needs paid off. But hey, that's one step in the right direction, I, I suppose. Good stuff, mate. Very nice. Huge, it, it's it's a game changer when you're playing the game this way, when you wait for it to go in demand. Because you do get ripped off if you sell in the worst months. You, a huge difference if you, if you can just make yourself wait. We had to wait quite a few months for it to uh, go in demand, but it was worth it. Uh, maybe a little bit mullety. <laughs> Frosty, praying for me my, tomorrow. It's a... Uh, I, I'm so sorry, Jordan. Again, uh, yeah, I'm so sorry, buddy. <clears throat> That's something everybody has to realize too. Like, not everybody's Christmas is going to be full of happiness and joy. Some for some, it's going to be very difficult. Uh, Jordan just lost his father like a couple days ago. That's that's what he has to be thinking about during his Christmas. Uh, my, my grandmother, it'll be her first Christmas without my grandfather. So, you know, it's, it's not going to be all happy days for every single person. So I'm so sorry, Jordan. Uh, not prepared at all. Stone cold mullet on that mama, but watch it. Uh, thanks for all you do for us. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Be safe traveling. Thank you, Kyle. And thank you again for that massive support to the channel. Thank you, sir. Uh, Pez Streamin'. Another Christmas present coming in the chat. But this is going to 10 people in the chat. We got 10 Big Rig Frosty Gaming memberships given by the one and only. They call them Pez. Pole dancing, Pez streaming. That is Mr. Pez, very good friend and longtime community member. Most of you already know the guy. Well, I, he's more like a child. He's he's very young looking. He's an adult, but he looks about 12 years old. He's just got that baby face. He just dropped 10 gifted subs. Looks like R.J. Holiday, Jordan Kenny, Kyle Foster, Andrew Bedard, Brian Santor, Fred Murphy, Justin Geary. 
uh, Jeremy Brown, Ryan Boltz, and Corey Hudson all getting gifted memberships. Make sure you say thank you to Mr. Pez streaming. And I haven't seen Pez go live. I don't think I don't I don't even know if the guy streams anymore. But I know he uh, the last time he was active was on Twitch. So if any of you are on Twitch. Uh, he goes by the same name over there, Pez Streaming on Twitch. Go check him out. But I don't even know if he's, uh, he's... He works. He works a lot. So I don't think he's been streaming at all. I could be wrong, but I I don't really watch Twitch much anymore. I uninstalled it from the phone, so <laughs> I don't really know. I get emails on notifications, but I don't feel like I've seen one for him in a long time. So he's probably just been working a lot, if I had to guess. Uh, thanks for the gifts, says Brian. Look at all those thank yous. <clears throat> I was going to say he was only 10. Doesn't he look so young? First time I seen what he looked like, I was like, that's Pez? But he looks like he could be my child. <laughs> so young. Uh, sell those straw bales on the trailer. You better watch it, Scott. Is that a good idea, is it? Let me check. It is, ooh, ooh, baby. I think you're right. Uh, price is 145. It's in demand January. I, th I think we have to listen to Scott. He's a very smart child. I mean, man, I was thinking of Pez. Scott is a man. All right, let's go. We don't need all those darn straw bales. I was going to keep that last load, but we got a crap load already up at the uh, cow pasture. So I think that's a great idea. Let's sell this trailer up here. Not the trailer, the bales on the trailer. You know what? I might have snow set to no accumulation. That might have been what I messed up on. Dang it, Frosty. Uh, snow. Snow falls on the ground and can be moved by vehicles. I have it to off. But wait a minute. I thought... So that, yeah, that's, that's why we didn't see any snow. Dang it, Bobby! That's my fault. I apologize. I turned it back on, so if it snows again, it should accumulate. That's all my fault. I messed up. But we do not have a plow, so if it sticks, I'm blaming all you guys, because I ain't going to have any way to plow it. We're going to sell 75,000 liters of bales. Some straw bales. They're in demand. What's up, Henry? You're new here. Well, welcome to the show, Henry. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in there, sir. All new subscribers, uh, say hello, just like... Just like uh, Henry did. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, we also had... Who was it? Who was it? Uh, -bitty -bitty -bitty. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? His name disappeared. Dang it. He, he chatted earlier. I couldn't pronounce his last name. I think his first name was Andrew. And then his last name, I it was French. I, I couldn't pronounce it. But uh, we got a, a handful of new people in here tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Normally, I go live at like 8.30 p.m. Eastern, but we started a lot earlier tonight because I will be out of town leaving early tomorrow morning. All right, once we take these straps off, I think it's going to start. So, oh, yeah. Woo, daddy. $11,222. Not bad. That wasn't even a full load. All right, we're almost 100,000 airs. That's a word. We're almost hundred thousand airs. Stuff. It's gonna hit. I I know Jordan. I know, buddy. <clears throat> Look young yet feel old. Yeah, you got a physical job. Uh, Merry Christmas, Frosty and Chad. If I don't see you all, right back at you, Pez. I'll be out of town for about seven, maybe eight days. So yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the ten gifted subs. Thank you very much. And we got another lag bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Goodness. I thought I thought he I, he already he already dropped the big one, and now I dropped uh, one twice as big. 
You're crazy, bro. Thank you very much. My goodness. Kyle Foster with $200 super chat on top of a $100 super chat he just sent, like, not even, what, 10 minutes ago, maybe? Crazy, man. It's going to freeze up my stream. Uh, thank you. That's that's crazy. Thank you so much. That's enough from you, uh, Kyle. That's crazy support there. Uh, one more time. Feel like you have helped me through my tough times. Want to bless you. And your thank you, Kyle. You're, you're all right. I'm going to tell Miss Frosty, too. I'm going to tell her. I'm going to show her that comment. Thank you very much, Kyle. You the man. You the man. Uh, Thrills Clips is also new in the house. What's up, Thrills? Welcome to this awesome community. As you can see, it's it's awesome. Uh, did you know the famous actor Brad Pitt has a not-so-famous brother named Stu? Now oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Are you kidding? I hope you're kidding. It's embarrassing. What else are we looking for here? Holy moly. He's crazy, guys. Kyle Foster is crazy. Uh, eggs. I don't have any, so <laughs> we're not really going to mess with the eggs. Ooh, you know what? We should keep an eye on my animals. I've been kind of not checking on them. Okay, they're good. Cows are still okay. I don't think we need to... Uh, we'll wait till that grass is done. We got $86,000 now. We're like rich. It's just... uh. Yeah, let's just go fast forward time. We've we've been through three months tonight in the game. The winter months are just dead. There's there's not much to do in the winter months, except sell stuff. If you have anything to sell. Luckily, we had wheat, some straw bales, and eggs. That's what we were able to make a little make a little profit on. <clears throat> Alright, cool. So, uh, yeah, we'll go on to the next part of January. I do two days on this uh, series. Okay, okay, okay. So the snow should accumulate now that I change the settings. That beautiful. Merry Christmas, everyone. Isn't that lovely? Property maintenance is kicking my butt. Let's see if we can get a little accumulation going here. All right, it is late evening on the second day of January. I know we're going to fast forward time again because there's, there's not going to be anything to do. But uh, we'll just double check, make sure we're not uh, hurting... Cows will survive. They're only at half. It looks bad, but it's fine. It's it's half. Horses are good. Chickens are good. Everything's good, Mike. Uh, hmm. Yeah. We don't. We still don't really have any eggs. There's only 900 liters of wheat. We're not going to touch that. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going till the next month. February, I believe, is when we can finally uh, start seeing some growth from the crops. All right, we are in the first month, first f front end of February. And we do finally have some accumulation Merry Christmas. Look at that. We've got we got some snow on farm sim. And the roads look horrible. That's awesome. So now we got snow. Uh, where's the farming crew at, Frost? Oh, what where'd all the snow go? What the heck was that? I didn't even get to enjoy it for like a full minute. That's not fair. That was like ten seconds of, of snow. What the heck's that all about? It was literally right there and now it's gone. That's a ripoff. That's a ripoff. Just subscribe, Dustin Johnson. I know you, Dustin. Just subscribed? 
Uh, wish I could really bypass this month. Negative 48 with wind chill this week in Alberta. Woo, my! That is stinking cold. I'm also from Iowa. Not looking forward to the incoming blizzard. I, I'm heading to Ohio tomorrow. Stay safe, everyone. It's going to be so cold. Cars can literally shut down in that kind of weather. Big trucks can freeze up. It happened to me in the past. It's cold. That's lame, Isaiah. It really is. Must got a heat wave. <laughs> Hey, the snowmen are still here. Oh my goodness. All right, uh, February, we don't have anything to sell in February. Let me check out the status of my fields. See if anything's growing. Uh, growth, mm, it looks about the same. <clears throat> Fertilizer is still good. Oh, boy. All right, let's uh, take a little spin over to the grass field. I think we still got another month. February, it says we could plant cotton. We're not going to do that. So, yeah, we got we got to go to March. My goodness. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I can already tell the grass is not going to be ready. So we're just going to skip to the second part of March, or February. <laughs> this is taking a while, huh? <clears throat> There's all our money just dwindling away. Alrighty. Definitely need to go feed the animals. So we're going to head over to the cowsies and take care of them. We're in the second month of February. Second quarter. I need to start saying quarter. First quarter, second quarter. Uh, this is my favorite map in FS22. I can't stop playing it. How good the layout is. I'm doing classic farming. All old equipment and tractors. Whoop! Nice. Yeah, I'm doing a... It's my first ever Let's Play series. I mean, everybody kind of does... I've seen other streamers do Let's Play. Some of them do it a little different. But for me, it's just... New farmer mode, easy economy, you just use whatever the map gives you, and then you go from there, and you start building up from there. So that's that's That was my approach for it, but I love it. Just like you said, the layout is awesome. Oh, there's our cowsies. Look at them. I think we got 75 head of cattle. We got a full... A full operation. We can't have any more cows than that. That's plenty. They're definitely probably ready for some food. All right. They had a long winter without their daddy. Yeah, they're getting a little low. Not too bad. Uh, we'll get the straw bedding thrown in for them first. And then uh, we'll mix up some TMR for them. And go from there, eh? Right. Might take a few uh, loads of uh, TMR to get them topped off again. What happened to all your snow? It disappeared. It lasted like literally 10 seconds. If it were a quarter there, would be four days in the month, I believe you mean a half. That's what I meant, a half. Halfway through the month. Or we're in the first half of the month. Yes, thank you, Isaiah. For pointing out my, my failures. All right, straw bedding is being applied. Probably have to throw a another bale in there one's probably not going to do the trick yep just ran out let's go throw another one in there get it all topped off so we don't have to mess with it for another good couple months I should have dropped two in there No worries, that's what I do best. 
No, thank you. I do appreciate that. Ow. Oh, got lucky. All right, let's drop one more in there. Yeah, I will definitely miss my farming while I'm gone. I'll, I'll be honest. I have a hard time going without it. <laughs> it's going to be a little rough, but I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I'll make it. Where would we be without you, Isaiah? Exactly. One milliliters in the bond for silage on 24-7. First time filling that up. A million. Dang it, Bobby. Now you'll have to go sell it. <laughs> That's a lot. You're not going to need all that. Might as well sell it, right? Once it uh, ferments. I think the map comes with 80 cows. Is it 80? Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, 80. You're right. I got 80 uh, dairy cows. And we've been, fa as we've continued to fast forward, they're at six months. Uh, I believe after 18 months, they can start reproducing. Can't remember how old they have to be to start producing milk. Anybody know? How old does the cow have to be in the game to produce milk? Because mine are at six months and still, uh, still no milk has been produced. I'm thinking maybe eight, but I could be wrong. I, I don't know for sure. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe it's like eight. Uh, you'll be with family I know Jeff I'm kidding I'll be fine I'll survive like I said I'll be bringing like a tablet and I'll be watching Dagger win and I love watching him and on the bail man we are going through some bales oh there we go we topped it off all done with the straw bedding now we can move on to uh, mixing up some TMR Go grab that wagon. Love this little Massey. Not a bad tractor. Uh, two years. Eight months. Eight months? I thought so. All right, cool. So we only got, what, February, March, April. So the month of April in the game, which isn't too far away, they'll start bringing in milk. Then we're going to start seeing some good money coming in. You can sell that milk, baby. Don't sell that milk. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get a delicious mixture going here. Get this little screen up so you guys can follow along. We're going to throw in a silage bale. A full... Ugh. A full hay bale, I guess. Uh, Nectabar! Yeah, we got a lot of uh, blizzard bombs tonight. We're, we'll give you the frozen screen. Nope, we'll give you the frozen screen. There you go. Thank you very much, Nick the Bar. Nick! I think that's the second one tonight. It might be the third. I'm having a hard time keeping track of what everybody's doing. Is that that is that the third one you've done? Thank you, Nick. Nick DeBar with another $20 super chat. Uh, always showing love to the show. That's Mr. DeBar. What's up, Connor Hayes? I'm doing splendid. Welcome to the show, laddie. We got Hey Jimmy and Connor Proud becoming new subscribers to the channel. Thank you, guys. Thank you, both of you. Correct second. Thank you so much, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, ha I'm having a hard time keeping track. I apologize. Lots of support coming in tonight. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I've been old. Family is like a fish. After three days, you just need to... Th oh, stop that. I am not... I'm supposed to be putting this on the other side of the trailer. We'll let you watch as I mix. All right, see, and now this is where we want to uh, just put a little bit of straw in for a filler. 
Because I don't want to waste the, the hay. Hay is a pain in the butt to make. You got to tether it, windrow it, bale it. There's so many steps involved for uh, making hay. So that's when the uh, straw comes in handy. Just dab a little of that in now. And get us a nice uh, mixture, hopefully. Put as much in there as we can. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Oh, I was looking at the wrong darn percentage. I was looking at what I was holding, not what the trailer was. Son of a biscuit head. Let's see what we need here. Oh my goodness. So what is, what is the recipe? Two? I, I always get this wrong. I think, what is it? Two silage, a hay, and a straw. That sound right? I think I need to throw one more silage in. Dang it, Daddy. I always mess the mix up. Uh, what's up, Gold Gaming? Hello, sir. Well, a Merry Christmas to you. Hope all is well. Excellent. Just getting ready to uh, head out tomorrow on our long trip to Ohio. And sadly, doing my final stream for at least seven to eight days. I am sad. I... I I love streaming, guys. I love farming. I've been on a farming tear. I've had, like, just a very... Not even a handful of people saying, you know, you gonna play any other games? I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I love farming. I, I absolutely enjoy it a lot. I really do. But hopefully it's not too much for you guys. I haven't really had any actual complaints. Just recommendations on some other games. I just... I don't been on a farm and tear. I, I've, I don't get sick of farming. <coughs> Alright, so I, f I feel like I can just add straw. Put more of that straw to finish the load and that'll be a big old thing of TMR. What confuses me is not having them all in the green. You don't have to, I guess, which is odd. I, sw I swear on FS19, you had to have it perfect. It had to be all in the green or it wouldn't give you a complete mix. Maybe that's just me not remembering things the way they were. <laughs> You're the only one I watch anymore. Farm Sim on your channel is top. Well, thank you, Unforgiven. I really appreciate that, man. That's awesome because there, there's people I love watching uh, to hear you say that about me that that makes me feel real good brother and if you guys want to know who like the people I love watching I will never hide that from you I love Daggerwin go check them out I love survival series if you want an awesome survival series go check out Daggerwin and uh, Sim Farmer love Sim Farmer I stop in his chats all the time. He does occasional live streams, but he mostly makes videos. Love those two guys. I get I get stuck in watching their their videos. That they, they do a great job. I went in the wrong way. Hang up, Bobby. Went in the wrong way. We got to turn around. <coughs> Thank you, Alex. Appreciate you, man. Uh, let me see here. I got to catch up on some chat. I missed a bunch. 18 months and 28 months for new calves, says Abraham. In the game? 18 months in the game? Stevenson says 12 months. Well, we'll find out. I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep an eye on my cows. They're only six months. We're going to find out when they start producing milk. Because they haven't yet. Uh, have you all hit the like, says Brian Santor? Yeah, have you done that yet? We're over 100 already. I appreciate that, everybody. <clears throat> All right. We got a big old load. 11,900 liters. Dropping in there like it's hot. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be some happy cows. 
They'll thank me later. See, the only scary thing is the texture coming out is not DMR. That looks more like hay. So hopefully uh, we didn't mess up. Or maybe it, you know, maybe it goes by the amount you actually mix. See, that doesn't say TMR at all. That's not good. I don't like that. That doesn't say TMR. So I think you really do need to be in the green. See, I, I thought, I, I thought so. That's not TMR. That whole load was not TMR. All right, we got to make sure we get all these in the green this time, and I'm going to see if that TMR level comes up. Because I want to make sure they're getting the good stuff. I screwed up. You guys convinced me last week. You convinced me last week that it didn't matter. Well, I'm telling you right now, Bobby, it matters. I'm just trying to remember the darn combination. I, f I feel like it's too... I can't remember if it's too silage or if it's too hay and then straw. I just don't remember. But we are going to master this. I'm going to get all these levels in the green. And we're going to see some actual TMR. Exactly, Matthew. It's not good. I want to make TMR. I don't want no forage in there. Two silage, two hay, one straw. Chris Smith, you are stinking. You're a champion, a scholar, a hero. I don't care what everybody else calls you. You're, you're my hero. I hope he's right. Two silage, two hay, one straw. And I'm sure it varies for uh, each mixer. This is like the first mixer you can get. So he either knows his stuff when it comes to that mixer right there, or he's just telling me that, and I hope it works. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, that's a lot of hay to go through, huh? I hope he's right. One and one. See, Fred saying something different. I thought it was just silage and hay. That's what the dryer makes, right? Yes, when you put the... Cur if, yeah, you can get away with just hay and silage. Straw can be a filler. So if you don't have a full trailer and you keep the other ones in the green and you dab in a little bit of straw, it can help fill your trailer up as long as you don't go into the red with the hay or the silage. And it, you know, it helps save you from using all your straw and silage, if that makes sense. Oh, crap. Yeah, see, I think we messed up again. So that might work good on whatever mixer he's using, but I don't... See... Yeah, I don't think it's going to work on this one. But we are in the green. We did two and two, and I think our trailer is full. Whoop. Holy moly. What just happened there? I think it hooked to the actual three point instead of the weight. There we go. All right, this time we do have TMR. Why? Because they're both in the green. Now, if I wouldn't have filled that all the way, I could have put a little straw. But two and two did get the job done. All right, so we should see the TMR percentage go up this time after we dump this load, hopefully. <clears throat> I play this game every day. Same here. I just, uh, yeah, I guess I never pay attention as much like I should. <laughs> I've been using that darn dryer too much, that dryer mod. All right, that's the good stuff right there. Yeah, that's TMR. That's what the doctor ordered right there, baby. You feel me? That's right. About to get her done. Oh yeah, those cows are really gonna be happy now. They got they got actual TMR. Totally, masterfully, radical food. That's what it stands for. 
I can't repeat it because I just forgot what I said. What did I say? Totally, masterfully, radically delicious food. Total mixed ration. Uh, hey, Frosty, hope you and the family have a good Christmas. Also praying for safe travels for you. Thank you, Mandy McKinley. Same to you. I'm sure everybody's going to at least be visiting some uh, friends and stuff. Uh, so uh, be careful out there in the, in the nasty weather. Uh, like the channel, buddy. Great. Thank you, Logan. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you, man. I uh, have to have the correct mixture, and then it's TMR. Otherwise, it's considered forage. Yep, that's the first load I jacked up. All right. Oh, crap. Let's check it out. Look at that. TMR. 11,900. That whole trailer load was perfectly mixed. All right. <clears throat> They're still not full. Hopefully, I'm not boring you guys, but this time... I'm going to do two silage, one hay, and then I'm going to use some straw so we don't have to waste more hay. That should work. We just got to keep an eye on our percentages. So I'm only going to throw one hay. This should work. This is how I used to always do it until I started using that darn dryer mod. The dryer mod makes you lazy because all you do is mix hay and silage all the time and it's super easy to fill that thing. But when you gotta actually make all your bales, you want to conserve as much of it as you can without wasting it, you know what I mean? Yeah, we'll throw two of these in. have to do one at a time. I do agree with Chris with two silage, two hay, one straw. It doesn't fit in this trailer though. With that size you can, yeah, see, that's what I, I know, yeah. Yeah, this trailer, I, I literally just did what he said. But this is the small trailer. He probably just didn't realize that. No biggie, no biggie. That's exactly what I did, Alex. I put two and two and then and then it was full. There was no room for straw. Wait a minute. Did I, uh... Did I put two in there already? <laughs> Crap. What did I do here? Alright, I put one straw. I, I can't remember a darn thing I've done. Yeah, you can do the mineral feed, too. We did that last week. I can't remember if we got it right or not. Did I put one or two in here? This is the second one, I think. Man, I, I really got to get my memory working again. If you don't put straw in, I think you get slurry instead of manure also. Oh, really? I didn't know that. That's, that's if you have a manure pit. Some of these don't have manure pits, but that's interesting. Did not know that. All right, is that my second one? All right, cool. <laughs> All right, now we can uh, should be able to fill the rest with straw. And this one's almost gone. It's only 25% left of the bale because we used it already. All right, so we're just going to dip it in there a little bit. All right, we used the whole thing, but I don't think the trailer is full. Probably could add a little more straw. Yep. Grab one more straw bale. We're going to do the old dippity dip. Beepity bop bop and doopity doop. We'll do one of those. Alright, so keep an eye on it as we dip it in there. I don't want that hay, or I don't want that straw to go. Okay, okay, see, now my hay is about to go into the red. Dang it, man. All right, so now we got to dip a little hay. We got to be careful. This is serious stuff. You could really hurt someone if you're not careful. Someone could get seriously injured if you don't mix this correctly. All right, the hay, this will get the hay back in the green, and we should have a perfect mix. 
And that is a full load. We still have a little bit of this bale left. So yeah, it'll take a little mastery for me to figure it out. But that's the thing. Each trailer's different. It holds more capacity, so it takes a different amount of bales. <clears throat> but it looks like you're always going to want at least two silage. One hay. A little bit of straw. For your smaller trailers. Am I losing my voice? My goodness. Uh, Ice Dragon? Oh, God, what's wrong with you? You guys are crazy tonight. Thank you so much, man. We're getting mad support. Uh, Ice Dragon coming in with the Canadian $50 super chat. It says, Merry Christmas, Frosty. Have a good vacation with your family. Ice Dragon, thank you. Thank you, brother. Ice Dragon keeps missing us on our... Uh, our uh, membership farm nights. He, he's always farming, but when it comes to uh, the farm nights, he, he's unable to make it. But uh, thank you for being a part of the, the membership farm, and thank you for the massive super chat. Uh, thank you so much, buddy. You are appreciated, sir, and have a wonderful Christmas. You can also go with smaller size bales to fit your tray. These are small. I think these are 125s. Yeah, they're only 5,000 liters. Yeah, I got the 125 baler. It's nothing fancy. What am I doing right now? Did I just hook up, unhook, and then hook up again? I'm losing my darn mind. Uh, Jeremy Quam, I will not be here tomorrow, but Merry Christmas to you, buddy. Uh, have a great night. Oh, drive safe tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Yes, I will try my best. The draw of safely. I mean, it's me. I, you know I'm going to drive nice and slow, nice and safe. Oh, yeah. So you do want to keep those all in the green. Whatever you're putting in your mixer, just make sure everything's in the green and you'll always get TMR. That's, that's the lesson learned tonight. There you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Uh, you are welcome for all the report that you get. Oh, thank you, Chris. I like watching you play this game the best. Chris Coble. Look at all these people being so nice to me tonight. All these kind words. What's going on here? Everybody's being so nice. You only put one, now you're putting two. Alex, you better watch your mouth, boy. I put two silage, one hay, a little bit of straw, and then a little smidgen more of hay. And I got myself some TMR. The good stuff. And that's good enough. We're, we're not completely full, but that's good enough. I am TMR'd out. <laughs> I'm just glad we got it figured out. We're going to park this up. Lights off, shut her down. I can't, I don't know if these doors close. There is no door. It'd be nice to have a hall door to close, but there is not one. Uh, but hey, they got a ton of delicious TMR now. Beautiful. Straw bedding is packed. Ooh, I got almost 34,000 liters of slurry. Beautiful. That might be one of our next investments is uh, a slurry tank. That'll be one free way of uh, putting down fertilizer on my fields. Good stuff, baby. Come on. All right, let's check it out. Cows, beautiful. Uh, puberty is at 33%. So, yeah. They're getting there. Chickens could use uh, a feeding, but not high priority. Uh, horses are good as well. All right, let's check out our fields. We should have actual grass ready now to make silage bales and sell them. Um, growth. None of that's ready. Fertilization, good enough. I don't even need a slurry tank yet, but next time we plant another field, that'll probably be something we purchase. You should write down the recipe for the TM. Oh, I'll, I'll remember. Yeah, right. Nick knows. I can't even remember what I had for dinner. Uh, I'll just ask Stevenson. <laughs> I'll just ask Stevenson. Uh, Frosty, I hope you have a safe trip, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. A virtual 10,000 super chat. Thank you, Diane Kurtz. Thank you. 
right back at you, Diane. <clears throat> Check the bar underneath the health. It was, it, I, I see it. It's nice. You were talking about the puberty. That doesn't have anything to do with milk, though, right? Milks? I think puberty is just so you know once they hit 100% puberty, they'll, they can reproduce and give you more cows. But the milk, unless that's part of the milk, too, I don't know. What was for dinner? Uh, Miss Frosty made uh, taco bowls. Like taco meat, rice, uh, lettuce, cheese, salsa, tortillas crunched up and now very nice. Very good. I thought that it was yummy. Ooh, nope, we gotta fast forward one more uh, one more day. So the grass will not be ready until the next day. So since we'll just let's just top off the chickens real quick. <clears throat> that way I don't have to worry about them for a long time. Right, Miss Frosty. Darn chickens. And there's still like just a little under a thousand liters in the silo, so I'll have enough. This will be enough wheat to uh, feed the chickens all year long. They don't require much. Let's see if I can just pull through here. I'm tired of backing in here. Long as we don't fall in the ditch, we should be all right. It's got to back up real close. There it is. Good enough for me. And they're full. And we still got a crap load left. Oh. See how easy that was? B yeah, I had BLTs yesterday. I like that's that's good food there. Easy to make, quick to make. We've been so busy lately. Or no, we had BLTs two days ago. Yesterday I had a bowl of cereal. Because my son had that, that away basketball game. Hour and a half commute to the game. I was up in Mr. Fireslan's neck of the woods. I was way up there. I was in Fireslan, if you're listening, I was in Sumter. We had to go to Sumter for a basketball game. Like, what? And I didn't know it was that far away. <clears throat> but yeah, didn't get home till about 11 o'clock. That's why the uh, stream got canceled last night. I don't know why I just pulled in there that way. All right, we won't be using any of that stuff for a while, so let's close up shop. Keep the neighborhood boys out of there. I don't need to mess them with my equipment. That's still about an hour from us. Yeah, it was a good drive. And it was raining the whole time. It wasn't much fun. Uh, Miss Fireslane says an hour, and Mr. Fireslane says 30 minutes. Uh, make sure to write it down. You write it down, Alex. I'll need you to tell me next time. I'll say, Alex Dayton, what's that recipe, Daddy? And I'll be counting on you, too. I hope you I hope you uh, help me out. All right. This pickup truck's got almost two hours on it. That's probably the most time I've ever put on a vehicle on Farm Sim. I've been driving this thing around like crazy. A good truck is a good truck right now. It's got 8% damage to it, but it's fine. It gets the job done. All right, we're going to fast forward time and get ourselves into March. Go to 5,000 time. A mm, little more snow there. It'll probably show some snow and then disappear. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful frost on the grass. Oh, so lovely. All right. Let's get rid of that frost. Get that frost off my field. It's March. There we go. Ooh, look at that. We'll go to about 11 a.m. That's usually a good time. There we go. All right. That should be changing color. I don't know why it's not showing that full stage. 
says three of three forage, but usually the grass is like a, you know what I mean? It's just a little higher and it's a different shade of green. It doesn't seem like the full length. Hmm. I don't know, but look at this. Look at our wheat field. Oh, that's looking real nice. Got all the weeds out of there, 100% fertilized. It's got about three more months to go. Yeah, three more months, this will be ready to harvest. That's looking pretty. I get maybe on this map it doesn't uh, go to the next stage. Maybe that's the final look. That means we could have cut that a long time ago. My bad. What's up, Dennis Lawrence? What's going on there, sir? I think I am, Alex. I think we are going to make some bales. I just want to check out my canola. Uh, we also have three more months on the canola. So the canola and the wheat will be ready to harvest at the same time. And that'll be around June. And it's also going to be a 95% yield. Very nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see here. My Christmas music turned off. And I do not like that. I want my Christmas music back. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, let's just got some grass. Anybody else that has used this map? Is this does it not get any different color than this? It doesn't get any higher than this? Most maps I've ever played on, the grass goes to the next level. Do I need to just wait longer? I don't know. Whatever. We'll cut it. It's fertilized. It should give us a, a pretty good yield anyway, so. Are you going to be live on YouTube tomorrow? Chris Taylor, I will not be live until whenever Miss Frosty lets me come back home. <laughs> she kicked me out. I'm joking. She didn't kick me out. We're, we're going up to Ohio for the holidays to uh, see family. And I, I'm thinking maybe the first or second I'll be back. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll be gone for a while. I told you to mow 45 minutes ago. I know, but it's... It just doesn't look right. I like using the robot to feed my cows, says Brian. Well, then, fine. I don't think I can cut the grass with this mower. I can't. I got to use the John Deere. This doesn't have a front end. I can do everything else with this. But I need the John Deere. Where's it at? There she is. Drop that. Whee! Yep, we're gonna have to use this because it has the uh, front front attachment for the mower. Merry Christmas, Frosty, and chat. Drive safe tomorrow. Thank you, Manuel. Right back at you, brother. <laughs> you too, Joshua. And Joshua Barzak with the $5 super chat as well. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you so much, Joshua, and Merry Christmas to you, laddie. Uh, let's see. Whoop, just cut that guy off. 30 minutes to the county line, uh, but which school did they go to? Uh, that was, it actually wasn't their school. It was Morris College is the court they played on. Morris College is like 18 miles off the, uh, I think it was like 18 miles off of 95. It was, it was, it was a good drive. It was a, too, too long of a drive for me for a basketball game. But I'm not going to miss any of my kids' games. But, man, that was... I was like, really? An hour and a half? It's crazy, dog. Oh, i got to get my weight off. Forgot about that. Go. <clears throat> you only get manure when you do the bedding. Same to you, says Nick. Uh, let's see. Trying to catch all the slow down road when it's pouring southern north. Well, I, I'm from the north. 
whoever said that. I didn't get to read the whole comment, but yeah, Southerners drive. They don't know what they're doing in the snow. <laughs> like a true Southerner that doesn't go up north, they, they're scared to death. Even down in the south, like I've noticed when it rains, people drive like it's the end of the world. They drive so slow. I'm like, it's just some rain. And then when you're from up north, like a lot of us are, that's how you learn how to drive in snow at a young age. You just you do it your whole life. It's snow, you know. Just drive slow, be cautious, take your time. But, yeah, I've never been the type that pulls over and waits. I don't do that. Even as a truck driver, those, those wheels were turning no matter what. If I had the four ways on going 20 mile an hour, that I'd be doing it. All right, we're going to switch to the front end. I found out that little trick for the full unfold. You have to have it set to the very front end. And then if you're on keyboard and mouse like me, you just do control V or control X. That'll unfold everything at once. You don't have to switch implements. And we're going to turn on all the blades. I need to make sure my work width is set to... You know what? Let's turn off the blades. All right, we want to make TMR. I might do what I did last time, split it half and half. No, I'm not. We'll be fine. We'll do all wrapped bales. They, they pay more. I think. It's gosh. I'm losing it, chat. Uh, let's just make sure uh, wrapped bales usually... I mean, yeah. Yeah, they, they get paid. Yep. All right. Wrapped bales it is. So we want to leave a swath. A swath. Yep. Drop it like it's hot. And get going, baby. Get going. Make some delicious wrapped bales. <clears throat> I might I might have to uh use the whatchamacallit? The hired worker, whatever that's called. Whatever that darn mod is. I might have to use that guy to uh, wrap the bales. Yeah. That'd be nice. Californians can't drive in any weather, says Dennis. Uh, do you have a laptop to take with you after you get to Ohio? If you get bored, you have your laptop to play on. I won't be playing on it. It's not one of those type of laptops. It's not good for that. But I'll definitely be watching some, some streams or some shows. But I tell you what, visiting with family, it'll poop you out. I'm sure you all know what I mean. Like when you go to visit extended family and you eat, you know, you all have your meals together. <clears throat> Before you know it, you're tired. You're ready to go to bed. <laughs> so that'll probably be me. Yeah, I'll be watching uh, the stuff I like to watch here and there. And we, m I might play some basketball. My son and I might be getting together with some of my old friends I grew up with. They do like pickup games at like either YMCA or wherever they can find a court to play on. So yeah, I might be doing some balling while I'm gone as well. What's up, Daniel Ricard? How you doing tonight? I'm doing quite splendid, mate. Doing lovely. Thank you for asking. I could hire someone to cut the grass, to be honest. Kind of, well, you know what? Maybe I should. Should I hire someone to cut? Nah. Nah, I'll do it myself. It's the fun part. Isaiah would be very disappointed if I didn't do it myself. I do not miss the snow, but the cold weather needs to go. It's been a little chilly down here. I know. I know what you're saying. It doesn't bother me. I, I like it. It really doesn't bother me much. Alpha Werewolf Alpha Kitten. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much. 
I'm cutting the grass. You don't have to yell at me, Miss Fireslane. All right. What's up, Patrick Brody? I'll cut it. Kevin, you're back. Did everything go okay while you were gone? Are you all right? Yep, I'll, I'll wrap bales. Enjoy your time off. I will. I will. Well, last, well, this last weekend was the Polar Express. Too close. Even Miss Frosty was like, I shouldn't have, she said, I shouldn't have scheduled that so close together. Because, man, we've been in the car a lot. And uh, it's just been driving everywhere lately. All right, I'll get a perimeter. Yeah, maybe I will get a perimeter. And then get... Uh, a worker to finish the field so I can start wrapping. <clears throat> but at least we'll have a border. That way the hired worker has room to turn around and not get stuck on stuff, you know? And you see, we'll do that. That'll be a really good idea. Just like that. All right, cool. It'd be cool if that mod I'm using, the passenger mod, if that made Miss Frosty cut the grass. <laughs> I'd like to make her do some work. Do some work on the farm. All right, hire a worker. Man, I haven't done that in a while. How do I do that? Oh my gosh. It's been that long, I don't even remember how to hire a worker. Crap! How do I how do I hire a worker? Don't hire anyone, then we can't watch. <laughs> hire someone. So, yeah, that's what I was gonna hire so I can bail. I I totally forgot how to hire a worker. That's how long it's been since. Oh, B. There it is. Got it. Wow. And you and you guys. Some of you think I'd be able to remember a TMR recipe. I can't even remember how to hire a worker. <laughs> All right. So while our hired worker is doing that, I got bailing to do. Well, I mean, we're at two hours, 44 minutes. I, I got to be done here in a little while. And I, I'd really like to get the bales made so we can sell them. Uh, silage is... At 561, max price is 569. It's still in very good. I mean, we're only going to lose like what, eight dollars. That's still a really good price. I mean, of course, we got to let it ferment, but uh, that'll be fine. So let's make some wrapped bales. Uh, but you don't need the. Uh, what's up, Cape Cod? How you doing there? Hope you're doing all right. Come on, a little further. There we go. So last week, we purchased this baler. We traded in the one we had and got this one that does the automatic drop, which is beautiful. Very nice. I do lock it. Uh, turn off automatic drop. No. Reset bale counter. Control X. That didn't work. <clears throat> I don't know how to reset it. Oh, well. No biggie. So we have... Unless it's right control X. Nope. All right, so we got 29. Anything over 29 is what we get new. All right, we're unfolded. Turn it on. Cruise control. Let us get it done. Make some straight up bales, baby. Silage bales. Wrapped bales. That's how we get her done. Beautiful. She moves a little slower, but it's auto. You don't have to stop and let the bale drop out. You just keep on trucking. So that's that's the beauty of this baler. I don't mind going a little slower. To not have to worry about stopping. I just cruise control. 
See that? Beautiful. Chris, I think you've said that about 10 times tonight. I think you play this game every day. Uh, be nice if you had to help. I don't need no stinking help. Look at that guy back there. Look at that guy back there working. He's working for cheap, too. That money's going down super slow. He must he must charge a low rate. I like that. <clears throat> uh, still live? I am, Scott. I'm about to uh, wrap things up, no pun intended. We are wrapping bales, but yeah. That'll probably be the final thing of the night, is getting this field wrapped up and sold. Sell them all. And maybe that should get us over $100,000. And then we got harvest coming up in the next few months. Yeah, this I'm loving this map. I'm going to cut this guy off. We'll just have to wait a minute. You run into me. You almost ran into my mind. Now watch yourself. And I drop it right where I need to drive. <laughs> That bail out of here. Come on, buddy. Yep. <clears throat> Beautiful. Uh, I would charge you a chili cheese dog from Sonic. I haven't ate at Sonic in a long time. They got some good stuff. But yeah, I haven't been there forever. I don't know why. I drive by it all the time. I just never stop. Now the even the lawnmower guy's going faster than me. Bobby. Some northerners are the same way in the first snow of the year. It's like the knowledge of driving in snow was sucked out of their brain. I know. I've always been just take it easy. No matter what car you're in. E even if you got an awesome four-wheel drive, I've always just take it easy. Because it only takes a second in the snow. You don't know what's under, especially if it's a snow-covered road. You don't know if there's ice underneath it. You, you, you might think you know. It doesn't mean you know. And that's all it takes. Once you hit some ice, you fly off that road very fast. And that's no good. No fun. He backed into me. That wasn't my fault. He'll have to figure out how to get back on track. I jacked him up. I jacked him up, man. <laughs> I wasn't stopping. I had the right of way. I feel like this isn't the full yield. This doesn't feel like it was fully grown, chat. It's got to go more. That just doesn't seem like much grass. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm used to seeing it turn like the yellowish green, and it's a little higher. But it, it, it did say it was full, fully grown, and we've gone through like three months, and it hasn't changed. I don't know. I just feel like we should have more. We got one, two. Yeah, we're getting about three per row, which I guess I guess, I guess that's not too bad. Three bales per row. Hello, Mr. Deckweiler. <clears throat> Once you eat it, you're automatically disappointed in your life decisions. That's how I felt about uh, Culver's. I've gone, I never knew what Culver's was until earlier this year. Delicious. Culver's is the bomb. Man, that's good. So good. I've gone my whole life not even knowing what that place was. Delicious. Burgers are so good. The fries, the the milkshakes. Oh, my. Heart attack on a plate, but man, is it good. So good. Have a good one, Brian. Merry Christmas, buddy. 
see, yeah, see you in 2023. Uh, let's see. Good night, everyone. See you next time. Have a Merry Christmas. Henry, right back at you. Frosty, I'm such a big, 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 big fan. Yes, you are, Chris. I appreciate you being here, buddy. Yeah, I guess I guess we're rolling now. I guess we are bringing in quite a few. One, two, three. We might even get four on this row. The swath is a lot bigger, though. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Is the AI doing okay? Yeah, sorta. Maybe not. Maybe it is kind of having trouble over there. It's kind of like going back and forth. Yeah, I think we jacked it up. Yeah, it's going around in circles now. Let's not let them waste our money. We'll finish that last swipe ourselves. I think he's having a, a little bit of issues after that little accident. <laughs> One strip left anyway. Let's knock it out ourselves, eh? Beautiful. Just just the uh, width of the mower. Perfect. Uh, Kevin Flores is frosty. Do not worry about your house while you and the family are gone. Deep Creek and I have everything under control. Where's the water shut off valve? I ain't letting you near my house, Kevin. I want to come back to a home that's still standing, all right? I don't need fire slaying running down here to put out fires, all right? <laughs> Freddy's is my favorite burger. Never had a Freddy's burger. Uh, thank you, Kevin. We do have a dog sitter coming every day. And the dog sitter is friends of ours. She's going to take Franco and let Franco stay at her house the whole time we're gone. And then if she didn't, she can't take all the dogs. But uh, we are pretty thankful that she was willing to uh, let Franco actually hang out at her house. That's awesome. Franco, Franco's a lover boy. He doesn't like being alone. He always has to have someone near him. So he won't be as lonely. And uh, she'll be checking the dogs like three times a day while we're gone. So yeah, all the animals are under control. This John Deere is oh, just a hard-working beast. 7.1 hours on this bad boy. I don't think I'm going to sell it. I love it. And I have to keep it. Uh, pressure washer. I think there is one hiding around here somewhere. I think that they have it tucked in. I swear there was a pressure washer over here. The heck is that by a ball? I don't want to buy one. Oh, there it is. Yep, I knew there was one hiding. There it is. And you don't even have to buy it. It's just there. I uh, got to get off and feed the kids. Safe travels. Merry Christmas. Gold gaming. Right back at you, buddy. Is the AI going to roam this map now? Check it out, Fit. Fit Smoke. It's good. You'll you'll like it. A good map. Uh, just keep in mind there is no animal dealer or a place to sell bales. So because of that, I uh, because of that I went onto the mod hub and got the sell everything mod and placed it near my grass field. That way I can sell my uh, wrapped bales, any bales. There's just, there's no sell point on the map. There's supposed to be one coming when the guy updates it for the first time. I think it's Julian modding, isn't that right? Julian modding, or J.A. Julian. I think he's the one that makes this. This map. Did you make arrangements for someone to watch Stevie and Stearman? Uh, they're on their own. I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> I know what Stearman's going to do. He's going to fly all over the world on flight sim. 
And Stevie might join them. I don't know. Stevie loves flying, too. They might end up doing some flights together. I, I don't know. But they, be, they, be, they best be getting ready for some farming when I get back. Because I'm really going to have the itch after being gone for over a week. Yes, sir, Bobby. We'll be on Hannah, Indiana. Leona, Pennsylvania. Probably do a silver run. Yeah, we'll be we'll be farming like maniacs. All right, just gonna park this here, and let's finish bailing. All right, let's see. We got 44, 29, 39. We've made 15 bales so far. 15 bales, chat. Very nice. Uh, Jacob Nungstia coming in with the nine months of Crazy Jack Wacker Level 3. Says, if you want to try Freddy's, they just built one in Streetsboro, just north of where you'll be. Not sure if they have that chain by you. <sighs> they might, but I haven't seen it. But it very well might be around me. I don't, I'll have to look. But yeah, I've never been to a Freddy's. But yeah, Streetsboro, that won't be far at all. I'll be right down the road. Uh, Mike Stilts. Mike Stilts in the house, also coming in with the Bone Marusi. Thank you very much, Mike Stilts. We've had so many lag bombs tonight, Mike. Uh, support's been out the wazilo. Uh, bombs coming from all directions. Huge Christmas support, I'll say. And uh, thank you to everyone who has thrown a super chat. Thank you so much. Biggest stream I've had on YouTube is today. This is the biggest one we've had. Uh, thank you so much for all the support, chat. I hope you don't suffer streaming withdrawals. <laughs> I hope you will be happy to be streaming again. Oh, I will be. I'm happy even when I don't go anywhere. I mean, I've been farming for three hours, and I'm still feeling good. I just, I do need to make myself try to get to bed early tonight. I have to. Or I'm going to be miserable trying to drive 700 miles tomorrow. Miss Frosty, she'll drive, but I like her to not have to drive. I like her to just, you know, take her little naps like Miss Frosty should, you know? She shouldn't have to drive in any bad weather. My responsibility. So I got to get some sleep. <laughs> Four by four just means driving, stopping, and still no matter what weather. Some forget that until it's too late. Yep. Because I'll see SUVs and pickup trucks with sandbags in the back. They'll be flying by thinking they're invincible. And then a couple couple minutes later, you see them sitting in the median, stuck in the snow. Oh, I'm finishing this field, Duan. I'm going to finish this field. Only got like two strips to go. And now with our new uh, little cell everything, all we got to do is load these bad boys up. Sell them. And we got an auto bail trailer, so it'll pick them up super fast. Bales, bales, bales. Well, I can't sell them until we let them ferment. <laughs> I'm glad I caught myself there. You don't want to just sell a grass bale. Definitely want to wait till these are si turned into silage. Uh, I need to fly it, says Josh, to Stevie. What'd Stevie say? Prepping my flights, trying to familiarize myself with the 310. The end game 310? I haven't touched it yet. Yeah, I forgot they added that. Did they add a livery for the 310 for the Delta? I I haven't fired it up since the update. Bradley Patterson! Dropping a $10 Super Chats is much love for Afsta. Hope you have a great trip, and most importantly, stay safe. We'll be waiting for your return. 
Thank you very much, brother. Thank you for the $10 super chat, and you too. I imagine pretty much everybody's probably going to be going somewhere at some point. So please be careful. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Bradley. <clears throat> and I know I might sound like a broken record, but I know we got people that come in and out at different times. But while I'm gone, I leave tomorrow, and I probably won't be back till till like the 1st or 2nd of January, <clears throat> which is only, what, a week? I do have six videos scheduled for most of the days I'm gone. I didn't schedule anything on Christmas Day because most of us are going to be busy. But uh, I, I do have videos planned for you guys to watch. One is a game review video for a, an older game. I'll see what you guys think of that. And then I got a five-episode survival steer series that I just started. And uh, they're about... They range from 20 to 30 minutes long. They're like time-lapse mixed with commentary. I, I actually talk in these ones. Something I've never tried, so... I've done time lapses, but these you'll see. The first just the first episode's a little rough. If you can get through that first one of the survival and then try to survive that one <laughs> and then move on to the second episode, you'll see that they get a little better. Like I start just get better at doing it. Uh, the first one I, I jacked up the audio, the music's way too loud, it cuts in and out. I I messed up. But then I kept figuring out my mistakes, and you'll. By the time you get to the end of the series, you'll be like, "Dang, that's that, that's not bad. Are you getting a little better?" And that won't be the end of the series either. I'm gonna continue that when I get back. So please check that out. I hope you guys enjoy it. I put some time into getting that all ready for you. I hope you like it. I hope you like it a lot. Let's wash our baler. Nice baler right off the mod hub as well. That's the fast bail vacuum. Beautiful. You don't have to you don't have to stop ever with that. It just unbails it for you or drops the bail. Bails it and drops it without stopping. Thank you, Kyle. Kyle, you son of a biscuit head. Thank you, Kyle. Kyle uh, dropped some huge bombs tonight. Uh, thank you again, sir. Sleep well. Merry Christmas to you. We'll see you when I get back. <clears throat> you doing what I suggested? Uh, talking over the time lapse. Oh, that's it. I don't... You'll see. You'll see how it goes. So, if, what, the first episode's rough. Second episode, I think, is kind of rough, but a little better. <laughs> and then I think it's the third episode where I just completely finally figured it all clicked like what i needed to do like i start fading the music in and out the audio levels are better and i do time lapses and just different areas like most of it is actually me farming and talking and explaining what i'm trying to do so yeah you'll see it'll be like if, if you've watched any of my other videos it, it'll be different from those so I, I hope everybody likes it. All right, I gotta go find. Oh, it's right there. Just gonna hop in to pick up, get these bad boys loaded, and then we're gonna fast forward time. Yeah, our animals are good. Animals are good. Crops are fully fertilized. All we gotta do is wait for the crops to grow. We gotta wait. Twenty. We found out last week. It only takes 24 hours in game for a wrapped silage bale to be ready. Because right now it's just we just wrapped up grass. But 24 hours in game from now, these will all be silage and ready to sell. Gonna enable auto load. Get these bad boys loaded up, come on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Hello. What's up, Marco Salgado? What's going on there, Papa Daddy? You know, there is a mod that shows you a percentage of dirt on the equipment. I don't want to know that. I want I want as much dirt on there as possible. 
Yeah, I don't want a percentage. I don't. I do not. I would not like that mod. Nope. But I'm not surprised. They got a mod for everything. Uh, hey, Frosty, if you could, when you get a chance, can you make a post in the community saying you and the family made it safe, please, and thank you? I will. I will. I'll put that in the uh, YouTube community tab. I'll let you know when I arrive there. And definitely, sir. <clears throat> and thank you for caring, Duan. Very, very nice of you. Duan's such a sweetheart. Such a nice old man. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go. Please be... I will, Diane. And Merry Christmas to you. Yep, I'm about to head out of here, too. We're going to load these up. Fast forward time, 24 hours. Sell them. Get that money. 70,000 liters on board. What? That's not a full load. Oh, you can fit more on there than that. Come on, daddy. Get them bales on there. Ow. Oh. Really? Those bad boys should be double stacked. All right, it's it's saying that I'm full, I guess. All right, so we're going to disable auto load. <clears throat> And then we'll uh, fast forward time till they're ready. There you go. Yeah, look at all that dirt. I like that. That doesn't bother me one bit. All right, so we're going to keep an eye on it. It's just grass. Before I fast forward, let's just do a little double check here. I don't want to mess up. Oh. Wheat is... We already sold the wheat. I forgot about that. Cool, cool. Eggs. We'll wait. All right, nothing else is ready to sell. So, yeah, we can uh, fast forward just to make sure our animals are good. Animals are good. That's. If you want to look along with me, bottom right, we're looking at that fermenting percentage. It's already at 50 percent 75 and 100 that a nice just like that baby one day later beautiful the whole load is ready now it's time to sail it it's just while you spray it so you know oh so you know when it's completely clean that's kind of cool that might be all right. Just sold a train load on the server. One million dollars. Oh, one million. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there was a crap load of crops in storage on uh, Griffin. Not surprised one bit. All right, check this out, chat. We're going to unstrap. And this should be a good chunk of money. 37184 dollars. Very nice. I reckon that's pretty good. Awesome. Awesome. All right, and we're still not done. We just got to load up the remainders, which we got quite a few left. That put us over the $100,000 mark. Beautiful. Do some swigglies in the... Uh, you know what? This wouldn't be a bad time. Uh, for next time, anyway, to purchase that slurry tank so we can put a coat of fertilizer on our field. Because it is 50% fertilized. It's beautiful. I think a full tank load of uh, slurry might be able to cover that field. Not bad. Yeah. So the remaining bales, we got another 28,000 liters. Uh, it's 2614. There we go. We got a lot of bales out of that field. Not shabby. Not bad. Another 
another fourteen thousand eight hundred and seventy-six dollars. That puts us at one hundred twenty-four thousand three hundred and sixty-one dollars. My goodness, baby. So that means in the month of March, we have already made forty-nine thousand sixty-nine dollars, uh, fifty-two grand in sold bales. Uh, February, we made nothing. And then we sold the wheat in January, made 55000 in January. We're doing good, man. We're doing all right. Deep Creek Ranch says hello. Had to resubscribe. Technical difficulties. Merry Christmas, Frosty, and Happy New Year. Deep Creek. You unsubscribed? Why'd you do that? You had technical difficulties that made you unsubscribe. Sounds a little fishy, mate. Well, I'm glad to see you back in the chat. Merry Christmas to you as well. I just sold a bunch of bales. Not a little bit, a bunch. All right, chat. I really wish I didn't have to go. I mean it. I, I, could, I could farm another two hours, but I got to get up early, guys. <clears throat> So we are going to have to call that the end as much as I'd like to keep on trucking. Look at that canola field. That's going to bring in some money. It's going to bring in some money right now. Ah, I don't want to wash my truck. I was going to, but I don't want to. I'm leaving this thing filled. Filled to the brim. <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice too. <laughs> Have you guys been noticing this scratch in my throat? <clears> throat> Woo me. Mm. All right. Yeah, that's got to be it. I'm sorry, guys. We did do three hours and 13 minutes. Thank you for tuning in at like 6 p.m. I know that's way earlier than usual, but like I said, I'm, I'm getting up early. We're probably going to. I'll probably be up before 6 a.m. and on the road by 6.30, 7, I don't know. That's early for Frosty. I, I Yeah, so I got to get to bed tonight. Uh, Mojo Jojo, so welcome to Jack Whacker Level 1. Well, thank you very much there. Thank you, Mojo, you silly little boy. Appreciate that. Thank you, Mojo. Merry Christmas to you as well. And then we got Amber Walker. Amber, yes, you're silly. It's freezing up the stream. Thank you very much, Amber. So it's Merry Christmas, Frosty. I uh, hope you have a safe trip. Also, don't forget to bring along an extra alternator. Different car this time. But yeah, that would suck. Oh, if the alternator went out in this kind, in that kind of weather, I'd cry. I would cry. Fortnite player, yes I am. I'll be heading up there tomorrow morning. Uh, safe, thank you Ryan Baltz, thank you very much. Uh, Don Stokes, Joshua Hoffman, thank you so much. Dino King, make it trimmer. Uh, Kevin Flores, thank you everybody for hanging out. Uh, thank you David Turville, Robert Parker, you have fun. You have fun as well. <clears throat> Duan Baker, Merry Christmas. Thank you for helping moder all my moderators. Thank you very much as always. Amber, is it still showing you as a moderator? You should be. I don't know if it shows you. I don't... S Can you just put a normal chat in the chat? There should be a wrench next to your name. Uh, be safe. Thank you, Mojo. Merry Christmas, Frank Barton. Ace Catfishing. I haven't seen you in the chat, but maybe you were just listening. Merry Christmas. Uh, Diane Kurtz. You said you were leaving, Diane. Diane is like... Deep Creek Jr. They both say they're leaving and they stay. Uh, Bam Nation says, Frost, did you get my super chat? Bam Nation. Bam Nation. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, man. These The support's been like pouring out tonight. I am so sorry. Uh, we did have a $20 super chat from Mr. Bam Nation 19. Uh, he says, Hey, Frosty, I made it back in here. Merry Christmas. He did say he was leaving at the beginning of the stream, and now he came back. He's a man of his word. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I missed that, buddy. I'm sorry. Thank you so much, and Merry Christmas to you. Amber Walker, I do not see 
Oh, yep, I see it. That's cool. That's weird. So when you send a super chat, the wrench is not there, but when you just chat, the wrench is there. All right, so she still is a moderator. Cool. But th thank you, moderators, for uh, always helping out, keeping the chat clean, which it usually is, except for Deep Creek and his weird uh, comments. Other than that, it's usually clean. I'm kidding. Uh, Anthony's Playhouse, thank you. Right back at you. Jeff Lavavavar, have a good one. I'm um, like Deep Creek. <laughs> you, you, you are. You both say you're leaving and you're always here. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Vanderford. Merry Christmas to you, sir. Hopefully all you hard-working maniacs get some time off for the holidays. I wish you uh, safe travels. If you do have to visit family, be careful. Uh, yeah, have fun. Don't eat too much. I'm going to try not to eat a whole lot because I don't want to gain back all the weight I lost. <laughs> all right, Bama Nation. Thank you, buddy. Uh, John McKinley also dropping the... Uh, ah, you guys are just too much. Mr. McKinley, the McKinley family. With the twenty dollar super chat it says Merry Christmas, Frosty. Thank you, John. Whew. And I think, uh, oh, uh, what? See, I can't even keep up right now. One second, one second. Yeah, I can't keep up with you guys. Austin Wall, uh, Jack Whacker level three for three months is have a wonderful Christmas and holiday with the family. Stay safe and warm and don't forget an extra alternator. You said that too, you Jack Whacker. That's what Amber said. You guys are funny. You think you're real funny, don't you? We also got Jacob Newster coming in with the five gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming memberships. That's the second time he's done that tonight. We got uh, Don Stokes. Tracy G. Smith, Deep Creek Ranch and Chadwick Ranch, Alex B., and Scott Zellers all getting gifted memberships. I'd say almost everybody's uh, members now after tonight. There was a lot of gifted memberships. Thank you, everybody, for the, the support. Thank you, guys. I got to get out of here, though. I got to get to bed. <clears throat> uh, Jacob dropped the... Yeah, I just caught up. Uh, I can't keep up with anything. <laughs> Alex, have a great one, buddy. Let me see if I can find a nice rock Christmas song to get us out of here. I got to find a good one. Play some rock. Uh, relaxing, dreamy, sentimental, peaceful. I don't want that. I want some rock and roll, baby. I don't see any, though. Relaxing, hopeful, peaceful. I don't want relaxing. I'm done farming. I want some rock and roll, baby. Where is it at? I don't see it. I need rock and roll. Let's switch it to rock and roll. Uh, rock, rock, rock. There we go. On something good here. That's not good. I want something. Mm -hmm. 1950s rock. That'll do. That'll do. I like that. That's pretty good. You like that? I like that. Uh, later frosting, have a good trip and be safe. You be safe. Bradley Simmons, have a good one, buddy. Enjoy the farm while I'm gone. Keep an eye on all the other Jack Whackers. Levi Schultz, didn't see you in the chat tonight. Hope you're doing well. Uh, play my song. I, I, I'm, I'm, playing, I'm trying to find my rock ones here. That'll work. Uh, Stevenson says... Mm, Natalig, Lowen, Abledin... Nidada. <laughs> Safe travels, buddy, says Stevenson. What the heck's that say? Natalig Lawan Abliden Nidada. Do you have like a toddler that I don't know about that got a hold of your phone? What the heck's that say? I don't know what that says. Mandy McKinley says Merry Christmas with the $20 super chat as well. So John and Mandy with 20 each. McKinley family coming in hot with the support as usual. Thank you. What's that mean, Stevie? What the heck does that mean? I have to confuse him? Yes, you confused me. If anyone hasn't... Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I don't know what that... Oh, it says Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in Welsh. I'll teach you it in the new year. Oh. <laughs> 
so Anadalig Lawan Ablinen Nud Dada. Like Dada. All right, I'm out of here, chat. You guys are awesome. Thank you again. Thank you for the mad support. There is a certain song, though, that I like. I just, where is it? Chasing, busy, and frantic. <clears throat> no, I don't like that one. Not bad. But that ain't it. There's this one track. I, I just can't remember which one it is. That's the one I want to leave on. Might be it. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good bedtime music for me. All right, chat. I'm out of here. Have a great Christmas. I love you all. Thank you so much for being a part of this community and helping. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I am losing my voice. Thank you for helping this channel grow on YouTube. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we've been growing rapidly the last couple months. And uh, thank you, all new members, all new subscribers. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the content for the new people, for the old people, all you geezers that have been with me for a long time. I love you. Thank you for still putting up with me and showing up almost every time I go live. It means the world. It's a dream come true being a streamer. And uh, thank you for making that possible. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'll see you when I get back. Make sure you watch the videos that will be scheduled around 8 p.m. Eastern. Almost every day while I'm gone. There's a couple days there won't be, but just tune in around 8 p.m. for scheduled videos. Peace out, guys. Big Rick Frost to Gaiman. It's on and off. Merry Christmas. Peace. Oh, wrong button. See you later.